Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you. Oh, who lives in a swamp right under the sea? Who sniffs your aunt's head and won't let her flee? Who touches your mom and croaks all the kids? Be sure not to tell your dad what I did. Horny? That's a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of doing the slurp for you because you're ungrateful. It's not even morning, really. I always hear even. those noises at the movies. <laughs> yes, well, that's the last time you go uh, to the Pee Wee Herman Theater. What's his name? I always forget his Paul name. Rubens. Paul Rubens. Paul yep. Rubens. Uh, oh, this is a, we've already, by the way, D Dave Lando had not seen the Biden grab ass, so he was positively tickled. <laughs> I was Pretty laughing funny. very had, hard. Yeah. This is <laughs> our, because we are all children. This is our first uh, live stream of an event this year. Yeah. Uh, we were planning on doing it. We were planning on doing it, just like we had done with the debates in town halls. Yeah. But there have been no press conferences with uh, Joe Biden. We've no. been waiting with bated breath. Then I'm not going to burn all my powder on Saki. No. No. No, no, no not the Saki. No. You, can't, you can't fight someone who doesn't have a soul. It's like dueling with the immortals. Um, <laughs> so... Today, we do have a promo code for you where you get $20 off Mug Club. Nice. Uh, promo code Dementia. Dementia. Okay. Also, use the hashtag. And by the way, we're not insinuating anything. No. No. It's, no. To, it's to yeah. raise money for those who uh, Ways of, uh, watch Mug Club awareness. who may have dementia. It's an acronym. Yes. Yeah. yes. And the promo, the hashtag is uh, Crowder Biden Stream. We're going to be watching the the live, uh, I guess it's not really a town hall. It's a press yeah. conference. This shouldn't be an event. It really shouldn't. It's it a should news be a, conference. It, it should be a Biden. common daily occurrence. However, it is not. not. <laughs> uh, and uh, we have a drinking game, right? We do. Oh. Here it is. We have a drinking game so that you can watch along with us. So when you see any of these words, can you read them, Gerald? Shot in the arm. Yeah. Or seven shootings in seven days. Two. Biden, Biden, Biden gaffes. Biden gaffes. Yeah. Number three, asked easy or leading question. Number four, right. Biden tells a blatant liar. Number five, Biden stutters. And you hear this ding. That means that it's time for you to get sloshed. And of course, uh, Dave Landau is a. Uh, can I? Uh, yeah, he doesn't, well, he doesn't drink. No. No, I'm in recovery, but this would even kill an alcoholic like me in my best yeah. day. <laughs> Good luck. So be safe out there. Yes, yes. <laughs> and by be safe, we mean uh, join Mug Club. Loudwithcutter.com slash Mug Club. Yes. What can we expect today? Look, this is what I think we can expect, okay? And then we're going to uh, go through a couple of clips, a couple of montages, and then we'll have a, a, a long post show for you. If you yeah. could bring up a scene in that lower third so people can see that they'll be it watching it along with us. Yeah. Post show will probably be longer than the press conference i expect it to be shorter the average press conference with donald trump was about an hour it's gonna yeah. be short um i expect this to be half an hour to an hour i expect him to talk about uh migrants i expect him to, to of course talk about mass shootings and try and push hr 127 yep. and of course we expect him to uh obviously try and tout his victory with the pandemic despite the fact that 1.3 million vaccines were delivered under donald trump in january in an average yeah, of one know. million a day uh what by the way we have gerald a quarter black Dave Landau, Ahoy. you can follow all of them. What do you expect here today? Uh, I, I expect softball questions. I expect him to kind of bounce back and forth and nobody to call him on any of this stuff. Right? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't think reporters are really doing their jobs very well. Right now, we are seeing some start to ask probing. Fascinating insight, Captain. But <laughs> I was uh, did, say, this logical. guy, Gene Shallot, who shaved his mustache and ate a bunch of cake. <laughs> right. Who is that? It seems to me that the chasm between Biden and the population widens, which is why we need a press conference. And I don't know how to finish this rhyme because I'm about on par with Biden intellectually. It's, it's old Josh Gad. Yes, it's old Josh yeah. Gad. From the future. Um, I, I predict yes. a freeze, too. I predict that at one moment he's just going to go. Yep. Well, he's going to lose the train. And he's not going to be able to get back on. He mispronounced the first word, which was tonight. Yeah. And he said, 
to light. But he said it's not just that he said. Well, to he light. thought he was coming to the light. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the he light. Didn't think he was. Yeah. He was. Yeah. yeah. See. Then they stabbed him with an epipen full of norepinephrine. And he's like, like sure, Sherlock Holmes with yeah. Watson's dog. <laughs> tonight, tonight, tonight. Yeah. Sucked him right back into reality. Someone get me a can. I need to sniff it like a smelling salt. Wait, just... Tonight. Breaks its neck. Um. Uh, well, I, you know what? I want to get to a couple of quick clips just so you guys have some context. Okay. Here's the lie too. Jen Psaki tried to say that this is actually. Uh, he's done forty Q and A's. Really? He's done forty press conferences well, and Q and A's since the beginning of his presidency. Here's the clip. That's a lie. Follow up on a different subject. Um, you mentioned last week that the president is expected to give a formal press briefing. Um, before press conference, the, yep. Yes, uh, before the end of the month. Mm -hmm. So you, so that is a commitment before, in the next few weeks, we will see him and give a, take questions and follow-ups and so forth. Yeah, he, he has done about about 40 Q&As since he took office, but in terms of a uh, formal press conference, which I understand there's a big focus on, yes, we will have one before Because the he's the president? Now, what <laughs> yeah, she is know. including, by the way, is every single time <laughs> Joe Biden has yeah. interacted with the press, including when he fell on them. So just to be clear, <laughs> This is how they lie, but the media, just you saw that report from the Washington Post reporter telling people not to ask tough questions. You guys can yeah. in the control room can bring that up. I don't think we have it prepared. Um, they're including interactions. When they say 40 Q&As, this, none. There have been no press conferences. She is including interactions uh, like this montage. Thank you, Mr. President, for your confidence. Well, well, thank you. Thank you for willing to do it. Um, now we're going to get down to business here. And, uh, and uh, Ron, who am I turning this over to? Well, I, uh, thank you very much, Mr. President. I think it's uh, time for the press, our friends in the press to leave, though. Thank you. And that was a double whammy because he was trying to say, who am I turning over and look for an eight-year-old? <laughs> Why is he only wearing one mask? Thank you very much. What a dick. Give a wave. I see him. Yeah. And then we also have Don't solar. jump. We need you. He's saying, I, s I see it. Like a child who's proud that he jumped off the high dive. Did you see me? I used the gift of sight. <laughs> I'm not such a loser after all. It's not one of those mall stores thank that looks like it's really ran by terrorists. Well, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank Or the thank purple you. suit store. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy like, to well, take questions. If that's or classy with two Y's. Oh, yeah. And a glitter dress. Yeah, so, so <laughs> even the examples that they use, they don't trust him. That was riveting. Uh, at all. Wait, wait, um, ah, and the next thing we'll get to is a thing that you guys just added really quickly. So the, the, the PR team, because we're running a little late today, and like I said, we will have a long post show. So we'll yeah. be playing the drinking game. The promo code is... Dementia, not implying anything. Crowder Biden stream, if you watch this on social, we'll try and just sort of dip in and out because we know that you want to watch this and this yeah. is the only way to make it palatable, but we also want to provide some insight. And then live fact checking afterward. Um, Biden's PR team, this is Overlay D, they uh, released an article at CNN. That's also just, think about that. Biden's PR team at CNN released an article. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, saying that Seems Biden has odd. been getting ready for days to face the White House press corps, as he has before in other major public appearances. Nope, Biden has taken home briefings, bo uh, home briefing books containing policy questions and framing for potential answers. Biden's three ring binders are typically, or by the way, uh, Romney's were full of women. Ah. Yeah. Biden's three ring binders are typically organized by topic with tabs separating. Uh, anyway, the whole point is they're trying to say he's prepared and actually... I wanted to hit this before He's because... He's got a nice trapper keeper. Yes. Well, I just want to point that out. We have an exclusive, actually, Lado with Crowder, uh, oh. exclusive footage of his preparation for these. I had not seen that. <laughs> and I, really good. I really do. I hate my father. <laughs> uh, so well. For closers. Really quick to before we move on, you might wonder why uh, Dave Landau looks like he's put on a couple LBs, like right, a fat yeah. pride model. It's actually uh, Spartan Armor is a wonderful sponsor of the show where we carry their their uh, uh, their 
bulletproof vest, and they're also stab proof. And by the way, some of you people are saying you need the coating on it so the fragments don't. They actually do have that. You can go to SpartanArmorSystems.com. Don't stab him yet. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. We need Garrett to get the we long stab- shot. Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Garrett, get the long shot. All right, Brendan, stab. Pull it in. Stab Dave Land. Show them that it's a real knife. Cut yourself. No. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, it is a yeah. real knife. It's real. Stab Dave. Give it a little more juice. Give it some power. How you doing, Dave? I'm good. All right, good. Rehearsal made my uh, my jacket red. <laughs> <laughs> SpartanArmorSystems.com. Uh, you get 10% off using the coupon code Crowder. And just yeah. to be uh, clear, too, they're also NIJ certified. Uh, A lot of other places say like they're NIJ equivalent, yeah. which means but nothing. Not, yeah. Yeah. Most it actually of, most helps, of the jackets. It, like, helps your posture, and it's comfy. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. comfortable. That's because we fit in a scoliosis rack. For oh, yeah. thank you. Oh. We're used to wearing this from Detroit anyway. So yes, like, that's right. Oh, I tend to go. Here. This is how I go grocery shopping. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if poor, I go to Lids. Poor taste, Dave. <laughs> and then you wear Especially, the we can't joke about grocery stores anymore. Uh, no, that's, that's true. true. I'm sorry. Yeah. Son of a bitch. I don't want to get fight a lot. I've got a lawsuit with Facebook. What well, was in Detroit? No. What is that? What else? Twitter, YouTube, and now Publix. Well, no, Come there's not Publix in Detroit. Burn in hell, Dave Land. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There's Kroger. Um, there you go. Yeah. Yes, there's Kroger. There's and Super. Whole Foods. And keep in mind, too, with, with what do you expect tonight? And I know, I know you're more, you, you know, you just want to hit Joe. But what do you really expect oh, of Biden? I think he'll shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Live Man. on air. Yeah. Yeah. We may not know it, but I think he's going to yeah. be wearing at least two masks and two diapers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> two. You have to watch for the facial expressions. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely is going to, like, he'll at least shart yeah. to the point that he'll be thinking about it. Yeah. Like, he'll yeah, be exactly. like, does that go... Did that go all the way? Yeah. yeah, it'll be at the front of his mind. And he, I expect him to sort of always... He always tries to act flippant yeah. when he has no leg to stand on. You know, well, come on, look. This is... You, you know what we're going to do, okay? We can't. we got to be careful. <laughs> okay, look. Come on, come on. Oh, people say that. Please. That's what he's going to do. Yeah. And yeah. he's going to try and act as though uh, <laughs> there, hasn't, there haven't been mass shootings, uh, that there isn't a migrant border crisis surge. Right. And a lot of people might be asking, look, why is he... Uh, so well, oh, oh wait, did we already do this? The uh, montage, eh? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we did. Okay, yeah. here's something else that I wanted to say before we get. He's already running late, by the way, two minutes late. Oh, that's 12, a shock. Oh, supposed yeah. to, it's supposed to be at twelve fifteen, so he hasn't done any press conferences. This is unheard of for a president. Nothing even close to one, by the way. No, nothing even close. to Not one. a legit Q and A. The time where he even thought he's like the. Did you ever see the Last Emperor? Yes. The Manchurian Candidate uh, with yeah. Peter O'Toole, where when he wants to actually take some actions as emperor, they're like, no. That's him. When he's like, oh, I'll take some questions. And they just usher him out and yeah. put him in the stocks. That's pretty much what's been happening. Like, he thinks that he can do more yeah. than they know he can't. Yeah. yeah. And so why do we think he's been so reclusive and not actually been communicating directly with the people? Maybe because of the interactions that he has had uh, in the past. They've been like this. I think that's a uh, montage... No, you think I'm kidding. It's almost not okay. there now. But anyway. His leg goes floppy there, which worries me. Honestly, yeah. no joke. It seems like it could be a stroke or a broken ankle. Now, when President Harris and I took uh, a virtual tour of a vaccination <laughs> center in Arizona not long ago, a lot of people don't know how to register. Not everybody Freudian in the slip. community, in the Hispanic and the African American community, particularly in. Uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts know how to use, know how to get online. <laughs> like he's Ooh, still dude, figuring it he's out. Good. No. <laughs> By the way, he was talking about, uh, I love how he said uh, yeah. African Americans and Hispanics and then just tried to cover his ass like in uh, rural Community the, with he, Wi-Fi. Yeah, then he had to come back, and he's like, and in, and in domestic or inner downtown, city areas. Inner cities. Come on, man. They don't. They don't. <laughs> Urban areas. They don't. The thing. They don't all have iPhones. Some of them, they're still using Sidekicks. Your name's Cardi B, and people call me Joby. We could be related. Yeah. I like your talk of your going down on things. And you know, and you know, the thing <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> it was disturbing for a long time because uh, you know I spent hours today. You know, I'm not sure. I couldn't find Cartier. <laughs> I couldn't. There's no Cartier. There's no, Cardio, no, which the doctor says, if I do it, I will certainly perish. <laughs> <laughs> to light. Yes. Uh, oh, light. there it is. Ah, uh, President Kabbalah. Uh, he's the kind of guy you can't leave the bug zapper on the porch because you're just going to yeah. find him there the next yeah. day stuck. Yeah. He feels like it w- he'd just be a grandparent <laughs> calling from Florida. Right. And then yeah. he would hang up and go, he's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
We need to <laughs> go Uncle visit, Joe? honey. He doesn't mm. have much time. You probably wouldn't even have to respond. It'd be like your wife goes, hey, how's how's Grandpa doing? And you would just look. Yep. Go, yeah. Really? Yeah. No. How many push-ups you want to do here, pal? <laughs> 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 well, I'm interested to see what he does when he comes out, right? When you do these press conferences, you try to lead off breaking news. So yeah. You can kind of control the trajectory yeah. of the, the questions and everything else. And I, I wonder if it's going to be, we're going up to 200 million vaccines instead of 100 million and because we'd already almost gotten that from the previous guy. I mean, he right. would actually say something like that on accident. And we have one ready. I think we'll probably have to show it after uh, the press conference because, um, gosh, for crying out loud, it's tw- it's, he's, he's still five minutes late. He's Using five minutes late. He's still not there. That, still by the way, there. is perfectly analogous to uh, 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 Joe Biden's presidency. It's like the cr- the empty crutch by a fire with Tiny Tim. Well, they're probably just making <laughs> sure he says it. the right thing. Like when they bring up two hundred million shots, they're like, "Sir, we're not talking about Chicago." Right. Right now, he's <laughs> right now. The problem is they're having to they're having to talk him down because he's really concerned about the speak and spell. Yes. Right. It's, 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 Joe. Joe. Just Joe, say what we no, wrote. No. No. Listen. Yeah. Come on. You, I wouldn't lie. I can't. It's read talking this. to me. It knows my name. <laughs> <laughs> They're showing him the Judge Reinhold Fred Savage scene from Vice Versa yeah. <laughs> to explain how he's got to answer the questions. He's Don't looking. Repeat them when they come into your ear. Yeah. Right Thank now, you. Yeah. salute the Marines. Yeah. Yeah. Salute right the now, Marines. he's looking in the Oval Office closet door for Howie Mandel. And yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> huh? He's lost what? trying to find it. Huh? Where's the power glove? Um, I, what will be interesting is we have the montage after this uh, to compare the energy of Donald Trump's yeah. uh, press conferences versus what we will see from Joe Biden. Also, to see how the media um, would jump on him. Look. I always say you have to go into it with eyes wide open. And so when conservatives would just complain about the media being biased, I always appreciated that uh, Donald Trump knew it and he yeah. went on the attack. Ron DeSantis is probably the only other person who I can think of who does it yeah. as effectively. Yeah. And conversely, Joe Biden knows that he has a friendly audience with the media. He knows they're not going to they're not going to call him to the mat on the vaccines. They're not going to call him to the mat on the on, on the border crisis right now. And what we need to keep in mind, too, with the border crisis, because it is a crisis, is they will say, well, look at how many people uh, came to the border under Trump. Yet yeah. that's not the number that matters. The number that matters is how many illegal immigrants successfully made it to the border and were released uh, to the interior of the United States. I think I have that number here. Uh, which page is it there, Gerald? Can you tell me? For the, uh, the border stuff, we're talking page eight. Page eight. Yeah, because yeah, this is something I had heard that they, they were saying uh, in an interview. Well, actually, uh, 72% of these migrants are turned away. And I, I don't have nails, so I wish I wish I were abroad. It makes it tough. Oh, to I wish I had a vision. But I guess I, what I really don't get is for four years, we watched every single reporter try to have a gotcha moment. Right. right. And that's why I'm wondering, why doesn't it happen now? Wouldn't at least one yeah, person try? Yeah. No? Oh, okay. Here we go. I got a couple of numbers for you uh, because this is a border crisis, right? They went all in on Trump with kids in cages yeah. and for pictures from Barack Obama. So uh, Biden broke the record for most unaccompanied minors, right, in custody, 3,200. Okay. So that's one that's significant. We have that from CNN. Yeah. Um, the total number of migrant children in custody right now is over 16,000. Only thir- and this is something I guess we can show this clip really quickly since he's probably busy doing yeah. paperwork and by that Push-ups. I mean wiping he's stu- with he's single ply. Them. Oh. Double mask, single ply. I don't like, and they don't it's, see it's the terrible, irony. Yeah. He's stuck in the drapes back there. He's Saki, a if it's a short ride. clip, she claimed yeah. that the majority of immigrant families were actually being turned away. The vast majority of people who come to the border are turned away. Uh, adults, families, single uh, people who are coming to the border are, are turned away. Right. So here's a number that I have for you. Actually, it's 13% of families are being turned away. What? Only 25 illegal immigrants were given humanitarian release into the United States and into the interior in October, November, and December in 2020 combined. Do you know mm-hmm. what, it, what it's been now? Two months into Biden's presidency. So this is the number that matters. Not how many are at the border, how many migrants are right. you know, knocking to get in. Because if we tell them, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, which That's also Biden can't grow despite being 95, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Do you know how many have been released into the interior of the United States just how in many? 2021? How many? Uh, 10,000. What? Wow. 10,000. So 25 to 10,000. 10,000. 10, I huh. say for every family that gets in, we send in a senator. Yeah. <laughs> we just throw our swap. trash back over yeah. the fence. Or just people that's like, hey, listen, we appreciate that you sent Jorge and Paco. Yeah. And in exchange, Barney Frank. Yeah. Please enjoy, enjoy his tits. 
Luke. F on. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> the cartel's <laughs> like, no, don't go. <laughs> They're for lunch. We don't want that. <laughs> don't. Don't go. Be careful. Bon- no, hey, you. Bonnie Frank going to invite you in his basement. Yeah. Yeah. Only it's not a basement. It's like an above ground pool. Only he does weird things. He used, he used to, to be good. beautiful in Mexico till so he showed up. <laughs> he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> now it's everybody's growing this. It's like it's contagious oh, and strange. shit. strange. Yeah. That's a good thing. <laughs> Big, those really are something. We have FEMA at the border right now. Yeah. I expect him to talk about gun control because, and I expect him to take credit, by the way, for the assault weapons ban. Oh, oh sure. Yeah. Which I did the assault I did the assault ban weapons ban. We can do it again. Which yeah. is an incredible thing to brag about, considering yeah. that it did nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, oh, wait, hold on a second. Let's turn up the volume. I think he's coming out. Former Vice President Joe Biden. Uh, It is Crowder Biden stream promo code is dementia. Hold on. He's going to say that he's not coming out. Let's bring up the volume. Does there need to be more of an effort there to get church leaders, community leaders, and others to to get the shot and and set a leadership role? Absolutely. I have these conversations with people every Wait, single day. Wait, did you see that? And the way yeah. they didn't cover what that guy just said. Yeah. Tell me Can anyone send me a message? And by the, the way, we'll be taking your chat on uh, Mud Club afterwards. Can, does anyone know what? Do we, does anyone have the raw feed? What did he just say? Like CNN clearly didn't they want him right over it to set to to. to it's so weird to be heard. He probably came out and said, uh, uh, "We apologize, Joe Biden pooped." We're trying to clean it up uh, right now. It's, it's the whole yeah. process. I'm, I'm telling. I really do feel like this is a guy who's being ushered from room to room who has no idea what's going on. Yeah. This. I, yeah. I, genuinely. Yeah. Genuinely. I, I, I. You know what? Here's what's so sad about Joe Biden is he doesn't have anyone in his life who cares about him. His kids, while they're doing crack off their niece's hip bones, are just using him for their deals, their money. You appreciate that because you know crack. I did. You know it can't be done off the breast, which is common misconception. You need, a, you need a firm surface. I think he burns them with the crack pipe like right. Rick James. Yes, or the founder of Kwanzaa. What was his name? His name was like oh, something like yeah. Fred Willard. And then he changed it to like, And it was just like, no, you just burn women with soldering iron crack pipes. Hey, it, it comes was, together. Uh, oh, now yeah. it's Madonna Nadabez. No, that's not his real name. That's a that's bullshit TV name. Crap. <laughs> oh, sorry, Ronald McKinley Everett. What is his name? Ron, Ron. Ronald McKinley Everett. It's a lot different. Ron, from Ron his, McKinley uh, Everett. Yeah, yeah. Ron, Ron Everett. Everett. Ron Everett. Sounds like a Scientologist. Yeah. It does. <laughs> but it really he, does. He's a founder of Kwanzaa. Yeah. So yes. But his family, his fam- <laughs> his family, he's surrounded by by cl- you know his wife is um, his wife's a climber. Yeah. And his kids. Couldn't care less because they just want to get some deals that they've never actually earned themselves. Yeah. And so no one is saying, look, Dan, you know what? This, this, isn't, this isn't good. They're not taking care of the guy. And, you know, I will say this, former Vice President Joe Biden, I, I don't agree with him on much. He, he doesn't know what he believes, truth be told. Like, if no. you were to tell him about the whole trans and sports thing 10 years ago, he probably would have laughed you out of the room. He probably yeah. would have said that it's a straw man, a slippery slope intellectual fallacy. And that's what's so sad. He doesn't know what he believes. He figures this is one of the one of the boxes that he wanted to tick. And so he's finally, oh, okay, all right, here he comes. Here he comes, the former Vice President Joe Biden. In which we covered his gaffes. Well, never mind. Here he is. Let's listen to him, the 46th President of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden. I want to make, give you a progress report to the nation on... Uh, on the, where we stand 65 days into office here on vaccinations and a few other top priorities for the American people. First, on vaccinations. On December 8th, I indicated that I hope to get 100 million shots in people's arms in my first 100 days. Drink. Drink. We met that goal last well, week shots by day 58. Oh, shots, shots in arms. arms. 42 days ahead of schedule. Now today I'm setting a second goal, and that is we will, by my 100th day in office, have administered 200 million shots in people's arms. Drink. Drink. That's right, 200 million wow. shots in 100 days. I, I know it's ambitious, twice our original goal, but no other country in the world has even come close, not even close, to what we were doing. So well, they're dangerously close to ma- nationalism. They're dead. And today, <laughs> yeah. We made a historic investment in reaching the hardest hit and the most vulnerable communities, the highest risk communities, at, uh, as a consequence of the virus. Drinking rules by investing yeah. additional people ten, uh, ten years younger dollars than you <laughs> and being able to reach them. High risk. I also set a goal before I uh, took office of getting a majority of schools in K through eight fully open in the first 100 days. Now, thanks to the enormous amount of work done by our administration, educators, parents, local state education officials and leaders, 
Recent Department of Education survey shows that Do you mean that nearly teachers half who didn't want to go back to work? K through mm. eight schools are open now full time, five days a week for in-person learning. Not yet a majority, but we're really close. <laughs> And I believe in the 35 days left to go, we'll meet that goal as well. Yeah, because you made sure that no schools were allowed as to open under Donald yeah. Trump. And now you're like, yeah. okay, you can. 100 million a neighborhood association meeting has more energy than that. dollars <laughs> have gone into people's bank accounts. That's real money in people's pockets, bringing relief instantly. It's been coming out of our pockets. Yeah, and well, millions nice. more will be getting their money, it's our money. very soon. Yeah. Thanks for giving it back. Final note. By the way, he doesn't, he's not allowed Since to have pockets. The they sew them shut plan. just in case he loses his meds. <laughs> yeah. starting to see new signs of hope. He's constantly looking for his Werther's time. originals. <laughs> Since it was passed, a majority, a majority of economic forecasters have significantly increased their projections on the economic growth that's going to take place this year. They're now projecting it will exceed 6%. A six percent growth in GDP. It's not because just of you, this morning, sir. No, of course not. Of course, yeah. Well, when you try to shut down the economy to yeah. win an election, yeah. Yeah. and then you say, okay, you can uh, open back up now yeah. uh, because herd immunity is one hell of a thing. I guess you can take credit. It's the first time. Also, six percent growth after crippling everything <laughs> isn't really impressive. <laughs> it's like six percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very little. So there are still too many Americans out of work, too many families Thank hurting. Thank you for that. Because of you, they still have a lot of work to do. But I can say to you, the American people, help is here and hope is on the way. Could you imagine Don't if Joe Biden said that and he was your uh, paramedic? Hey, your relax. Help is here. You'd be like, get away. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, there's Zeke hope. Uh, am I going to die? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Huh? Shut up, man. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. You mentioned your progress on COVID-19. I'd like to ask you about some of the other issues uh, facing your presidency. Uh, one of the defining challenges you face in the coming months is how to deliver on your promise to Americans on issues like immigration reform, gun control, voting rights, climate change. All of those right now are facing stiff, united opposition from Republicans on Capitol Hill. How far are you willing to go to achieve those promises that you made to the American people? Well, I'm good. Look, of course, a leading question. Yeah, leading. Yeah. Oh when, my gosh! Uh, How far are you willing to go? When I took office, I'll kill them all. I uh, decided that uh, it was a fairly basic, simple proposition. Oh, good. And that is, I got elected to solve problems, and the most urgent problem facing the American people, I Rubik's stated Cube. from the outset, <laughs> was COVID-19 and the economic it's dislocation puzzle he hasn't for millions through. and millions of Americans. <laughs> And so that's why I put all I got this my thing focus where the little in the beginning. Wooden thing goes a lot of along a metal. But all my focus <laughs> on dealing with those particular. Problems. You get it to the end. It's very satisfying. It's very complicated. From my foot doctor. From immigration. Are you mean podiatrist? You're a pediatrician. You yeah. Why are you here? Are I want a sticker, man. Long-term problems have been around a long time. I got a ball, and it hits and one ball, and this other ball do, bounces, God and it does it for hours. Is now mesmerizing. I keep thinking I'm going to catch it. But I'm not. And whether it's right, immigration sorry, or guns or a number of other problems that face the country. But the fundamental problem. Guns are not a problem. Getting the immigration people problem is you. Some peace of mind so they can go to bed at night and not stare at the ceiling wondering whether they lost their health insurance. She's whether they're going to lose a family member. <laughs> yeah. He lays in bed at night staring at the ceiling. <laughs> they're not going to be, they're going to lose their home. He's just staring into the voice. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Where the millions of people are going to get thrown <laughs> out of their home because of the <laughs> suicide to, is uh, painless. Hey, that, that softball question so, seemed like it was kind of we're, fed we're to him because yeah. Uh, yeah. when we were doing research oh, before the show, um, the CNN I article, it, it, it was so vague from the state of bipartisanship to the future. Like, this is one of the things that they were saying would come up. That's all the guy said. Yeah. So yeah. broad. Yeah, it's totally fed to them. To determine whether or not we want to work together or they decide that the way in which they want to proceed is to uh, is to uh, just that uh, vein coming um, up from his right eye. Divide like the country. Never be a continue yeah. the politics of division. It looks like stressed. But hair. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to move forward. And take don't you love how once it's come. a Democratic president, it's all about unity? Oh, yeah. So let's work together. Unity means, don't, oh, hold on, double mask is asking follow. If you can't make progress on those four challenges, climate change, immigration reform, gun control, voting well, rights. 
Well, I plan on making progress on all of them, but that's you mean making progress like what is gas gas prices are up uh, thirty eight forty percent huge. The last time they were this high was under Barack Obama. People say it's now it's not the Texas freeze because I was in Arizona recently. It's it's over five dollars in California. He's made some progress because he's already made the the oil market is largely determined and it's unpredictable. It's volatile, but by speculators, of course, and they know that this guy is a guy who will make uh, make access to our own reserves much more difficult. So gas prices have gone up immediately. Keystone immediately. Uh, yeah. Immigration immediately, yeah. record numbers of people being yep. released. So you know what? Yeah, Bomb okay. Syria. Yeah, yeah. Syria. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about Yamish? Guys, just so worried. he's got a list. He's Thank trying to not laugh. Mr. President, at the name. Um, you've said over comments. and over again that immigrants shouldn't come to this country right now. This isn't the time to come. That message is not being received. Instead, the perception of you that got you elected as a moral, decent man is... Oh, my God. God. Come on. This is the press. This what got elected, you, elected you as a moral, designers. decent man? Really? How do you resolve really? Tension? This is a guy who had to who had to exit the 19... Was it 1988 presidential race yep. <laughs> in disgrace? Yep. And is there a time Racial jungle. when we won't be seeing these overcrowded facilities with run by CPB when it comes to unaccompanied minors. Well, look, I guess I should be flattered. People are coming because I'm the nice guy. That's the reason why it's happening. What? Yeah, but only you don't have to deal with it, shithead. It's that, the American know, public who has to deal with it, not only in the form of job loss, not only in the form of of, of, of obviously uh, feeling as though their states are no longer secure, but they're actually getting attacked. If you look at the likelihood of an illegal immigrant, that's a stat they always throw out. Oh, legal immigrants cause crime, uh, commit fewer crimes. Of course, if they're legal yeah, immigrants, because they're on the books, they can be deported. Illegal immigrants commit crime at a much, much higher rate. 10,000 in the year of 2021 released to the interior of the United States. It's not because you're a nice guy. It's because you're a p -p 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 pussy. Of January, February, March. Agreed. It happens every year. In addition to that, there is a, and nobody, and by the way, does anybody oh, suggest that? so the that surge is seasonal. 31% increase under Trump because he was a nice guy. You know, guy it's like a farm, hey, it's like a farm to board. table menu with the thing. That's not the reason Do they still make surge? <laughs> you know the, you know the thing. Right, I, just, I, I gotta hear his bullshit. I'm sorry, there was a 31% increase under Trump. Can we fact check that? Thirty two under under Donald Trump. At if he means there was a 31 percent increase at one point in time of people trying to get to the border. Sure. There was not a 31 percent increase in people released in the United States. The number that matters is people. Are, that's why a wall is important. People try to come to the country. Are they turned away or are they granted access until their court date? Again, the number that we have 25 released in the United States in October, November, December of 2020, 10,000 in 2021. I'm not sure what percentages are for that, but it's got to be more than 37 percent. Got to be more. Dismantle all the elements that exist to deal with what had been a problem and and has been continued to be a problem for a long time. Well, the president of Mexico he said it's in your fact problem. Shut down the uh, the number of beds available. He did not fund HHS to get people to get the children out of those what? those border patrol facilities where they should not be and not supposed to be more and than And by the way, this is why days. this is why there's a record just to be but clear. This is the problem that they create when they say they didn't get the beds and because the point is we shouldn't have policies that encourage unaccompanied minors by the yeah. way. Yeah. Sex trafficking used to matter to people. That's why we have a record number of unaccompanied minors. We have 3200 in 2019 compared to 2600 under Trump and that was a big year last year why because now they're going oh wait a sec oh wait a second yeah. if the kids just don't have an adult then they can go and then they can send us green card okay my Jorge that's what happens yeah. they're sending on do you have any idea how dangerous that is you give you creating more hotel rooms for unaccompanied minors and giving them space blankets and dehydrated ice cream is not fixing the problem it's just encouraging p families to send more children without any kind of adults to the border yeah that's the horrible the families that are coming nope. we're trying to work out now with mexico their w willingness to take more of those families back but uh, we that that's what's happening they're not getting across the border and those who are coming across the border yes they are, are well, so I would argue children, was his cab well, are moving rapidly to try to put vice in place president cabinet that was separating the children yes. from the parents, yeah. which then led to this. That's yeah. why he's using more cages, has to get his money's worth. Right. are either 16 or 17 years old. We're not talking about people ripping babies from mother's arms or little three-year-olds standing on the border. Less than, I think it's one and a half percent fall in the category of the very young.
So what we're you doing seem is very we're young providing and an for eon. the space again. No. To be able Since to get the Cambrian era, of the he may have patrol. sniffed so very young just before he walked yeah. out. He knows it very well. Yeah. He smells very young. Baby and today, powder. I went to, for example, I used all the resources available to me, went to the Defense Department, and, and the, the Secretary of Defense has just made available Fort Bliss, 5,000 beds. Do you think he has to wind his teeth be before he talks? <laughs> 5,000 beds in the Texas Do you think if you throw him off a high-story building, he has a little pouch that goes, Yes. You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? I would. Figuratively. By the way, do you see something? Do you notice a trend? Do you notice a trend? He's talking about giving stuff to people who are trying to get into this country illegally. He's not talking about policies that will actually stop the flow of illegal immigration, which is bad for who? Who is it bad? It's bad for Americans, natural-born Americans. It's bad for legal immigrants. And it's bad for the illegal immigrants themselves because then they can be abused. Then they can effectively be indentured servants, right? Well, they are. Oh, hold on. She's asking follow-up. Follow there's Immigration is, is a big issue, of course, with, when it related it to is, the filibuster, but there's also... <laughs> Republicans who are passing bill after bill, trying to restrict voting rights. That's Chuck a lie. Schumer is calling it an, an existential threat to democracy. Why not back a filibuster rule that at least gets around? Listen, if you guys are drinking at the leading yeah, questions, we're going to die. Switch to uh, water. Survivor Switch to Natty Light. <laughs> you know very well, um, has backed the idea of a filibuster rule when it comes to civil rights and voting rights. Don't movies. conflate no. that too. No. Don't mm. conflate that too. Civil rights and voting rights. Look, civil. When we're talking about people not having the right to vote, the that's same. very different from saying, "Hey, we just want to make sure that we know who you are yeah. voting." You have an ID. It's what not they hard. Want, look, let me go through this. Where's the 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 vote? Okay. Here's Why what they want. Here's what their bill is. Really quickly. So I'm 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 really pissed I at this tell. shit. Okay. Their bill, H.R. 1, and by the way, a lot of people get confused because H.R. 127 is the crazy, absolute batshit crazy gun bill. This is H.R. 1. We have all the sources available at ladderofcredit.com, by the way. Allows same day and automatic registration, expands early voting, prohibits voter ID, prohibits signature requirement, mandates no excuse absentee voting, one absentee ballot application for all future elections, what could go wrong there, uh, forces states to accept mail-ins up to 10 days after the election day, allow 16-year-olds to register to vote, or, as Joe Biden refers to them, his romantic interests, <laughs> mandates districts redrawn by form. unelected bureaucrats, <laughs> limits the ability to clean up voter rolls, and makes D.C. a state. What do Republicans want? Voter ID, and if you're voting mail-in, that you have a reason for it. That's about it. You want to, if you're saying that's racist, you're a racist. <laughs> Literally weeks and weeks and maybe even months before anybody pick up the phone and call to see if there really was Talking about his grandkids? There. Yes. <laughs> well, we've set up a system now where within 24 hours there's a phone call made as that person, that child the crosses money. the border. <laughs> And then a verification system being put in place as, as of today to determine quickly whether or not that is a trafficker being called or that is actually a mom, a dad, and or a close relative. They're establishing that right off the bat. If it in fact is mom or dad, dad says to take the extreme case, I got a birth certificate. Then guess what? We're getting that kid directly to... You know what? Here, he's getting, this is, this is complicating a problem. Look, we have a child, and uh, he's not answering on the voting rights, by Look, the way. A trafficker can never pretend to be a dad. Right. <laughs> no. It's like, no, hey, no. hey, is this, uh, is this Pico's father? <laughs> he flips through the script. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> By the way, your son smells lovely. Click. Yeah. Here's the issue here. <laughs> yeah, if, pimps if, if he, never said I'm her dad. Yeah, if they're actually being sent by parents yeah. across the border, they can be sent back to their parents. Yeah. You don't need to have some caller ID and a Mission Impossible voice recognition software. It's, yeah. oh, well, your mom and dad have some splaining to do. Why don't you take yourself right on back? And that will discourage parents from being shitty guardians and sending kids across the border. I'm sorry, it is not empathy. When you remove law and order from the books, it enables cruelty. It always does. Let's listen to this guy, because I just, I'm sorry. I don't want you to get caught up in the velocity. I don't. None of this is aimed at why I have this vest. Very nice. They told me it was for knives, and if you went a little mad. Yeah. Used to be required for the filibuster, and I, I had a card on it, so I was going to use the statistics. Horizontal lines from like Monte Cristo on the uh, wall. Uh, that it used to be that uh, the, 
it, that well, from between 1917 Stop. and 1971, the filibuster existed. Do it. There were a total of 58 motions to break a filibuster. By the way, hey, have the, the uh, team bring this up afterwards. Um, keep in mind that they tried to ram. I don't remember if it was the public option or Obamacare through with filibuster. Okay, taking over a fifth of the economy with filibuster. I don't remember if that's what they did or they, they just did some. They piecemealed it. Oh, that's right. They tried to use it through reconciliation. But well, they then had there were, to because there was a filibuster that they, there was. There, sorry, there was, was a filibuster, filibuster, but there was something. There was some other. You're right. Yeah, there was something else though that they did something with something with Obamacare. It could have been an addendum to it or an earmark. I don't remember exactly. There was a filibuster. The point is they used it like crazy. Yeah. They used it like crazy when they've had control. What I like about the Obamacare is how all my liberal friends were furious they had to pay for the insurance by force. <laughs> yeah, and now they're championing Wait, this guy yeah. and getting mad at me where it's like, didn't you scream at me for a while? <laughs> like, my whole thing was I thought the uh, pre-existing conditions may have gone a little too far because I have the, you know, the, I think the insurance companies were screwing people over for that. They were just angry that they had to pay $60. <laughs> it's a fine. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised it was that low. Right. Well, it depends where you were at. Oh. So that the vice president of the United States can break friend the tie. Won't leave me alone. I get 51 <laughs> votes without her. And so I'm going to say something outrageous. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. What? So just the best way to get something just done that's is insidious, you, insidious, you hold near and dear to you, that you uh, I mean, if you don't look at my um, track like record, be I've been to... pretty good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway. Oh, oh, he couldn't yeah, finish his. Yeah. Oh, anyway, I'm drink, drink. He's getting get tired. On. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Are you about, talking sir? about? Okay. Knows. Um, <laughs> hang on. Uh, Lost sorry. his train of thought. By oh. the way, getting rid of the filibuster. Wow, yeah, that's this a good Kim. point. L little Kim? Did he just call him Little Kim? L little Kim. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Um, to follow up on Being the filibuster, abused in a so gigantic do you don't, like don't you love how everyone has been a minority? The yeah. On oh, legislation yeah. Or well, they have to. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? If we ended with 51, we would have no about problem. ending the filibuster still. You're going to have to. Yeah. The existing rule, uh, it's going to be hard to get a parliamentary ruling that allows Can't 50 votes to end the filibuster, the, the existence of a filibuster. Um, but... Um, it's Lost not it my again. expertise oh in what the Lord. parliamentary rules and how to get there are, but You've been in the Senate forever. Our preoccupation Who's with filibusters. Your expertise totally is legitimate. claiming credit for but bills meantime, where you didn't even vote. Yeah. While we're talking about what we're going to do about the filibuster. And the, uh, the what? Um, huh? Did he just lose his train of thought? He again? lost it again. That's three okay. times in a row. Drink the filibuster, especially. I By the way, um, I'm going to die. <laughs> the filibuster is so there to make sure somebody can't just ram through their own policies against the will of the American people. It I'd is like there to make sure on controversial issues you uh, have to get 60 you, you votes. You listed the reasons that people are coming, uh, talking about in-country problems, saying that it happens every year. You blamed the last administration, sir. I just got back last night from a reporting trip to the border where I met nine-year-old Jose, who walked here from Honduras Can I get his by number? himself, <laughs> uh, along with another little boy. He had that smell on him. him, and we were able to call his family. His mother says that she sent her son to this country because she believes that you are not deporting unaccompanied minors like, like her this son. This That's why phone. she sent him alone from Honduras. So, sir, you blame the last administration, but is your messaging and saying that these children are and will be allowed to stay in this country and work their way through this process, encouraging families like Joseph's to come? Well, First look. decent question. Yes. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the idea that I'm wow. 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 Which I would never do. Of an unaccompanied child Hunter, and is can you border, put down the crack pipe for different. long enough to help your dad? Get your dad <laughs> out of here. piece of shit. Working. Seriously, no I feel bad for the guy. I really do. Either, except Trump. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. That's why I've not asked do it. the Vice President of the United States yesterday prudent. to be the lead person on dealing with focusing on the fundamental reasons why people leave Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador in the first place. Because they're shithole countries. It's because of earthquakes, floods, 
Mexicans. No, come on. <laughs> yeah, people are leaving El Salvador. If I'm not mistaken, it's El Salvador has the highest murder rate in the world. Not industrialized so. world because that's a lofty goal for them. It's in the world, period. And I think Honduras is right up there. Yep. Mexico is pretty high. I think Mexico City might be the worst city, but I'm pretty sure it's El Salvador is the country with the highest murder rate. And uh, the, they have they have 401k <laughs> for kidnapping over there. And you believe it's because people get a little dewy? <laughs> Well, <laughs> it's the floods, okay? Yeah. I tend to walk a couple of thousand miles because of a flood, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've wanted to see a white Christmas. That's why they come to the U.S. <laughs> Tired of it being so high. I, also, I want to come here to see your Statue of Liberty, to meet your Bing Crosby, and also to not be raped for days on end without mercy. Instead of us going down and helping... I hear you let way, prisoners out for so no reason. Not have a reason to want <laughs> because they have a cold? They have to <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> yep. Sustenance. El Salvador. Wow. Sometimes I, I amaze myself. In our administration. We're going to be spending that $700 plus for the million Salvador. dollars a year. <laughs> Just to so you change know. the life and circumstance <laughs> of the white people leave in the first like place. Like people will be confused. That mother no, did not the other worst country ever. Uh, <laughs> on the table and oh, you're looking for Salvador B. Yeah. Uh, there's no more. We killed him all. <laughs> we are now El only Salvador. Yeah. Why would you? Uh, by the way, why would you let a nine-year-old walk through Honduras? Yeah, like, <laughs> but on, on top of it, what a crafty nine-year-old. I mean, maybe we could use yeah, him in the states. <laughs> get all the way here by himself. Send over again. A throwback our trash. Make themselves. Gosh. To have to take. I couldn't even put a tent up when I was nine. <laughs> so we can do something about that. That's what the vice president's going to be doing. What I did. When President Obama Give asked me, me to come volume. and deal, I was in, I was in uh, Turkey at the time. He said, you got to come home and take care of this. So we put together a plan and it had sandwich. an impact. <laughs> and so the question here is whether how we go ahead and do this, what we do. There's no easy answer. No specifics, by the way. None. Nothing. Right, Paula, look, if I may, call do Kamala. you want to see these unaccompanied minors staying in this ch this country or should they be deported eventually uh oh well the judgment has to be made whether or not in, th in this young man's case as a mom at home there's a overwhelming reason why he'd be put in a plane and flown back to his mom cancel free travel huh <laughs> Follow, sir. You huh. mentioned uh, circumstances that must be yeah, horrific. <laughs> the Customs and Border Protection Facility in Donna, Texas, I was there, is at 1,556% capacity yep. right now with mostly unaccompanied minors. There are kids that are sleeping on floors. They are packed into these pods. I've spoken to lawyers who say that hey, they... why don't you just put them in all the hospitals? They already have days. COVID, and those are empty What's right now. Reaction? None true. of them are at what capacity. There was a big boat in New York you could put them in. <laughs> Nobody ever What's went to them. And then send them down to Snake Island off Sao Paulo, Brazil. Is going to be fixed? There's lots not of the children, not, not the children, the drug cartel. Right. Yes. Yes. Send the drug cartels to Snake Island. That's why we're going to be moving a thousand meter. of those kids really? out. Quickly. That's, That's why That's what, what's got quickly mean? opened up. That's why I've been working from the to moment him? this started to happen <laughs> to try to find additional access for children to be able to safely, not just children, but particularly children, to be able to safely be housed while we follow through on the rest of what's happening. Huh? That is totally unacceptable. The, the, the most humane thing to do would be put them oh, on a bus or a Ken. plane immediately back like the revolving door in Elf. Yeah. They shouldn't be sitting there for more than half a day. Yeah. Yeah. It should be, oh, no, you're not, the, sorry, you're not a citizen, bye. ...of U.S. troops from that country. As a candidate in foreign affairs, you wrote that it is past time to end these forever wars. Can you commit to the American people that by May 2nd, the U.S. will no longer have forces in Afghanistan? No. The answer is that... <laughs> Didn't he bomb Syria within yeah. like two days? Remember there was that peace in the Middle East thing? Yeah. <laughs> you just oh, remind it. me, remind me, write it down. I have a story about an Iraqi uh, cab driver, uh, Uber driver, okay. on the way back from the airport. Oh, yeah. It's a shocking statistic as to how many Middle Eastern uh, American, uh, middle, whatever, people from Iraq and the United States support Donald Trump and yeah. because of the peace that they had for four years. Yeah, yeah. Every Uber driver I had in New York was probably Middle Eastern, and many were from Iraq and told me that. Yeah. 
and they're really and scared that, about what's I going mean on with Biden. All of them. Yes. Consultation, yeah. I said with our allies and partners, and how to proceed. And Secretary Blinken is meeting in Brussels this week with our NATO allies. Did you just say a Blinken? Uh, particularly those who Blinken. have forces there. <laughs> <laughs> and General Austin is just met with Kayani, and I'm waiting for the briefing on that. He is the the uh, hey, you know, the leader in Kabul. I need, to, I need Kabul. to calm my nerves. There's a UN-led process that's beginning uh, shortly on how to mechanically get people how to end this war. But it is not my intention to stay there for a long time. But the question oh. is, how and in what circumstances do we meet? that agreement that was made by President Trump yeah. to leave yeah, under a deal that looks like it's not being able to be worked out to begin with. How, how, how's that done? But we are not staying a long time. By the way, how, was it three peace deals with Israel under Donald yeah. Trump? Three, yeah. three? Yeah. How many deals? Unprecedented. Did, I did the assault weapons de uh, deal. You've done no deals. Yeah. You don't even know how to coupon shop for a deal. I guarantee you, by the way, if Donald Trump was still president, they would be out by May 2nd. Yeah. He sets those deadlines and says, we're gone. But you, you, you forget Biden did the deal between Pfizer and Merck. Right? Yes, oh. that's true. Uh, that's true. Which actually isn't true. Trump did that. But. <laughs> Joe Biden, <laughs> Joe Biden couldn't find a deal if you gave him a shop and save, a 10% off Bed Bath & Beyond coupon, and a map. <laughs> <laughs> to allow he couldn't find a deal with big lots, and they got lots of big deals. He turn up, he turn up, paying full sticker price, full MSRP <laughs> for something he didn't even want. Plan very shortly is underway to let you have access. A 2021 F-150 with, with a Lando well. roof. <laughs> be able to have access to the facilities we've obviously been allowed to be inside one but we haven't seen yeah. the facilities in which children are packed together to really give the american people a chance to see that will you commit to transparency on this issue i will commit to transparency and as soon as i am in a position to be able to implement what we're doing right now right after we get the kids I'm out of there one of the reasons yeah. i haven't gone down i have yep. all my <laughs> once it looks my pretty good i'll show you I don't let's look look the thing is <laughs> we have one you've been in the one room the other secret service you ever seen blazing saddles we're gonna it's like the town it's a it's cardboard. It's not real. Access to everything once we get this. Now, movie. access now. Just to be clear, that's how freedom of the press. I've noticed that the reporters that appear to be uh, possibly be Hispanic, I want to say possibly, seem a little bit more passionate than the others yeah. about this topic. Yeah. A little, bit. A little more, more, dare we say it, inner passionate. I like that. Did you move too quickly to, to roll back what? I'm sorry. Policies. Did you move too quickly to roll back? Some of the executive orders of your president. I've got ten thousand yeah. reasons all, as to why. Yes, all the policies are underway. We're, we're going to police the seas. Did not slow what? up Jaws? immigration, and as many people coming, and yes, they did. rolling back the policies of separating children from their from, from their mothers. I make no apologies. Those for were that. policies rolling under your policies vice presidency. Of, uh, in Mexico, sitting on the edge of the Rio Grande in a muddy circumstance with not enough to eat. In my, I make no apologies for that. I make no apologies for ending programs that did not <laughs> Is that exist. Is a reference to the John Wayne hey, movie? Yeah. Hey, do you, make a, do you make any apologies to the record number of women who've been raped and people who've been killed on the southern border in towns like El Paso? Do you make, apolo do you make apologies to them? How about them? I don't think he's going to apologize for his son. <laughs> so I make no apologies for that. I just ask you about foreign policy, Mr. President. Overnight, we learned that North Korea you see that has Merck? two Because she's asking follow-up. She's not supposed to. What, if any, actions will you take, and what is your red line on North Korea? Okay. So, someone take uh -oh. that bitch's lanyard. Let me say that, uh, <laughs> number one, uh, you weren't supposed UN to ask Resolution that question. 1718 was violated by those particular missiles that were tested. Oh, what are you going to do one. about it? We're consulting with our allies mm. and partners. Tough. And uh, there will be uh, responses if they choose to escalate. Like? Um, like? We will respond accordingly. Mm -hmm. 
But I'm also prepared. That's uh, a far cry from um, fire and fury like they've never seen. Yeah. Remember everyone said that Donald Trump was too cozy with Kim Jong Un? Yeah. Because Please. he actually crossed over that border right into South, uh, into North Korea for the first time and met with yeah. them. And he went there to make a deal. And when Kim Jong Un did not meet the deal, Donald Trump came back, called him little rocket man, and said if he does anything, he will be met with fire and fury like he's never seen. Guess what? No more tests. Did yeah. nothing. And all of a sudden now it's kind of popping back. They're doing tests. President Trump, oh, she's asking that North one. Korea was the top. I'd be more vocal. I'm just so scared. <laughs> Is that how you assess the crisis in North Korea? Yes. <laughs> okay. By the way, I think he just agreed with Trump. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, that was not a one word question, oh, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? His answer was we'll do some stuff, and when we do the stuff, the stuff will happen. It'll happen. Oh, well, I got it. Let me hear the questions, guys. <laughs> the country <laughs> are working to pass bills <laughs> that would restrict voting, particularly Democrats' yeah, fear of impacting minority yeah, voters sons of and bitches young want voters, people to be people of age. elected in November. Are you worried that if you don't manage to pass voting rights legislation, that your party is going to lose seats and possibly lose control of the House sideways. and the Senate oh, yeah. in 2022? What I'm worried about is how un-American this whole initiative is. Bull crap. It's sick. It's sick. Everyone hold on. Deciding in some states that you cannot bring water to people standing in line waiting to vote. Deciding that you're going to end voting at 5 o'clock when working people are just getting off work. Deciding that there will be no absentee ballots under the most rigid circumstances. Not true. It's all designed, and I'm going to spend my time doing three things. One, trying to figure out how to pass the legislation I bet you passed track by the House. Three. Number one. Number two, educating the American public. The Republican voters I know find this despicable. Republican voters. The folks out in the outside this White House. I'm not talking about the, le the elected officials. I'm talking about voters. Voters. Who vote for the elected officials. And so I'm mm -hmm. convinced that we'll be able to stop this because it is the most pernicious thing. This makes Jim Crow look like Jim Eagle. I mean, this is gigantic. Who's what? Jim Eagle? What is that? No idea. <laughs> and it Bro. cannot be Is that a reference to something that's swinging 20s? I'm doing everything in my power Hold along on. with my friends in the House and the Senate to wait, keep wait, wait. that from, uh, from becoming He hasn't hit number three. Is there anything else? <laughs> uh, you three. What did I tell you? Call me Nostradamus, Dude, bitch. I told you. He had it. three wow. things to remember. He forgot one, and number two was all a lie and a reference to, I assume, a quarterback to the age no, 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 of when no. they had leather helmets. Oh, I don't An think. An eagle is bigger than a crow. Larger, Jim right? Crow? Oh. Jim Eagle. Huh. Makes it look like Jim Dodo Bird. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jim Patera. Makes it like look an like Oscar Johnny Flamingo. Huh? <laughs> Flamingo Kid. You know Matt you know, Dillon. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Joey Blue Jays, you know. They want 16-year-old. Let's let's do this math, okay, really quickly before we go to this. 10,000 people. Yeah. 10,000 people, illegal immigrants released into the United States, right, in 2021. 10,000 yeah. people, and they want no voter ID. And they want 16. He just said the majority of them aren't three. They're 16. Well, guess what? Yep. Their bill, 16-year-olds registered to vote. With no necessary identification. Do that math. How many states, border states, were within 10 to 20? That's only in two months. In a year, you know it'll be what? 20, 40, 100,000? Yeah. Arizona, Nevada? These were within 10 to 20,000 votes. Yeah, it was very close. All of them under the name Jim Eagle. Yep. <laughs> we should have seen it. There could only be so many Jim Eagles. I would expect so not Jim Eagle. To what he said. <laughs> But this is be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. The lid gets blown off because one like No, why'd you why'd you write Bob Hawk? I don't know. We all agreed he's one bird of prey. But I got the hawk eye. No, you don't. You have glaucoma. Hey, what about a falcon? Don't start with your falcon, she's again. But I train them. And so you and your falcon helmets. Did you write the Jacob a peacock? So far left. Well then he ought to take a look at his party. Over fifty percent of them must be over that edge as well because they support what i did uh right now he's okay. holding up the size of um, jim eagle's I, package yeah. where am i here <laughs> i plan to see. be alive in 2024 yes that is correct <laughs> that's the plan <laughs> yeah
Thank you very I've much. I've been Mr. working President. on stairs. I have a question for you, but first, I'd like to follow up on a question from Yamish, and that's on the filibuster. That counts as a question, but go ahead. Okay, I'll make wah, it quick. Wah. It's a no, quick no, question. You can, let me smell your hair. I'll let you uh, go again. Regarding the filibuster, at John Lewis's lesser. funeral, President Barack Obama said he believed the filibuster was a relic of the Jim Crow era. Do you agree? Yes. If not, why not abolish it if it's a relic of the Jim Crow era? Did you hear my joke about Jim Eagle? <laughs> <laughs> I reference back. Successful electoral politics is the art of the possible. Let's figure out how we can get this done and move in the direction. Now come over here, you of pink jacketed flamenco or herbal essence, this beautiful bitch. First. I like that those buttons are placed on your it's nips. Been the time it came into being. Reminds me of Barney Frank. By an extreme way in the last we 20 sent him years. To, we sent him to El Salvador. I haven't seen him in a while. Pink on the outside, pink on the inside. Oh, no. Are you eliminating the filibuster, is that correct? I'm, I'm doing it as him. Yeah. yeah. I answered your question. What? You also just made some news by saying that you are going to run for re-election. I said that is my expectation. Could be so dead. Is that a yes that you are <laughs> yeah. running for re-election? Look, I'm, I, I don't know where you guys come from, man. I've never been able to plan. <laughs> oh, I'm a great respecter of fate. I've never been able to plan four and a half, three and a half years ahead for certain. Oh, you're if running you the. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Did you, you just, just say can't plan ahead? On your ticket? Yeah. And he basically told her, I can't answer this question because there's such a thing as actuary tables. Right. <laughs> it's like, I can't be expected to plan ahead. Come on, I'm the president. Yeah, well, oh, come on. Why I would a president run for two terms? I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea it would be a Republican Party. Do you? I know you don't have to answer my question. but Are I you mean, getting spicy with you know, me, uh, you, turtle well, shell nipple is, girl? Uh, <laughs> well, the way I view things, I become a great respecter of fate in my life. I set a goal of this that's in front of me to get things done for the people I care most about, which are hard-working, decent American people who getting really having a stuck to them. Yeah, stuck to them by wages the being driven down through yeah. illegal immigration, the stuck to them by having their businesses shut down and not being able to work, stuck to them by not being able to put their kids back into school, stuck to them because they have a horrible economy, they have an immigration problem like they've never seen, and by the way, you want to take their guns away. And you don't give any press conferences because you don't see the American people fit to uh, communicate with you. So, oh, And being attacked on the street because you've convinced them if they don't wear a face garb that they're somehow killing you. Right. Right. To hear them complain when they passed close to two trillion dollar Trump tax cut, eighty three percent going to the top one percent. That helped the economy. To hear them no, by the way, it didn't, it didn't go to the top one. Yeah, again, that's just, you're just talking about total found. numbers. Lie, drink. The vast majority. Just to be clear, we have this too. Someone can bring it up. The vast majority of people under Donald Trump with those tax cuts pay less. Yeah. Now look, if you're here's the thing. If you make a billion dollars. And you're paying slightly less of a percentage of a billion dollars. You're telling me. But you're making $70,000. And you're paying slightly. You're still both paying less in taxes. This is the problem with the left. It's not that it's dishonest, although that is also a problem. It's that it preys on humanity's worst vices and evils. Jealousy, greed, yeah. fat pride, gluttony, right? Un unearned unearned uh, accolades and awards, illegal immigration. This is the, uh, or maternity flight suits, or lowering PT standards at, uh, at uh, to, to join our armed forces. I just had a Biden moment right there. The issue here, <laughs> Is ab so let's, let's continue with what he said. I'm sorry, I've been talking for too long. Dignity, honor, honesty, transparency to the American political system. Two. How about letting them see the cages first? To rebuild the backbone of this country. Once they get them cleared out. The middle out. class. Hard-working people and people struggling to get in the middle class. They built America. And unions built them. Bullshit. No. Uh, Bullshit. I said Fuck you. Right? Hey, how about this? This is a, that's a that's a regurgitation of the guy who you know obviously he he, he does his cup check for him, Barack Obama, when he said you didn't build that. Right. Again, he's pandering to people who think, oh, I can't do anything without a union. By the way, who yep. are who 99 percent, if I'm a member of the SEIU or electrical union or teachers union, 99 percent of our donations go to Democrats. I can't do anything without a union. What about the small business owners? What about the right to work stage, which, by the way, is an increasing trend? You want, just like Barack Obama told business owners, you didn't build that because through your tax dollars, we incredibly efficiently, might I add, built roads for you. So technically, you should thank the government. And right now, he 
always saying, technically, you can't make it on your own. It's not your own merit, at least not the system that I want in place. So thank a union. Average Americans, the average American saw a salary increase, an increase of earnings. The average wage went up by $5,000 in three years. We can factor that, bring it up later on, under Donald Trump. Under eight years of Obama, 1000 and he started with a terrible. He started down, of course, and just had nowhere to go but up, and only got a thousand. He yeah. cares about everyone but the American middle class who aren't beholden to unions. But he cares about illegal immigrants. He cares uh, about voting you. bases uh, and purchasing votes. Yeah, no, he cares about no, no, union money. He yeah. cares about big banks, so he wants to lock out people trading GameStop. He doesn't care about the average American. He doesn't. He couldn't care less. He wants to cut your wages. You've seen the growth under Donald Trump. He wants to increase your taxes, and he wants to make sure that you have to compete for jobs in a labor pool with unskilled uh, immigrants who didn't even have to sign the guest book. Oh, and by the way, they can vote as young as 16. Looking out for you when he can finish a sentence. Sorry, let me hear this double mask of bitch. Uh, international payment systems. Look, uh... That's the best you could look today, sir. <laughs> Legitimate questions, but the only I couldn't hear him through the two masks and pube beard. Yeah, a smidgen of what the relationship with China really is about. Hmm. I've known Xi Jinping for a long time. Really, allegedly, by the time I left office as vice president, I had spent more time with Xi Jinping than any world leader had, because President That's Obama weird. and the Chinese president who decided we should get to know one another. And he's on first. Which is inappropriate for the President of the United States to spend time with the Vice President of another country. But it was obvious he was going to become the new leader of China. And how did that work so out for the American I worker? Yeah, that's a little hours long. upon huh? hours with him. How, how, how did that work out for the American worker with that cozy relationship with China and the Trans-Pacific Partnership? Yeah, worked out well for him. Got some good business deals out of it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Straightforward. I mean, Hunter Biden. Hunter. Doesn't well, yes. A yeah, not him. With a small D bone in his body. He's more of an opium guy. He's a smart, yes. smart guy. He's one of the in guys. In fairness, it's for his legs that break when he walks upstairs. <laughs> or pets a dog. President Glass. He can't function in an ever, com an ever complex world. Stutter. So, Greg. And by the way, when I was these aren't stutters. He called a right. These aren't actual Not, stutters. No. He never had a stutter. No, no one talked about a stutter until he read. These are inabilities to find his thoughts. As well as mine, listening. We had a two hour. The problem with everything is it becomes corrupt, even the same with unions, and that's the sad thing. I think right. that they started and in a very, a very noble them. thing. Right. And the Industrial Revolution, I where this was, you know, we went from yeah, an agrarian yeah. society to now we did have classes, and they said, okay, we need to make sure that people aren't working seven days a week in a factory where they lose an arm on a conveyor belt. Oh, yeah, where they're like, your kid who's fucking, uh, sorry, who's 12, <laughs> 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 fell on a meat grinder. Right. What are you, six? Like, but in that hole. Tasty. Yeah. Yeah, like, here you go. <laughs> Why does this have a young man's nail in it? It's fine, eat it. But then Jimmy fair Hoffa was like, hey, let's loan all this money out. <laughs> I don't know where he is. This is to you. In order to compete Actually, effectively, I, I, told, I indicated I tell you that my uh, that step grandfather, who was mayor China of Bloomfield Township, saw him at the, uh, whatever it is, the Fox, whatever. Yeah, the, in the restaurant. It's still there. there. He was there that day. Really? Yeah, with Jim, when he saw Jimmy Hoffa. Oh, wow. Car. Sorry, let's go back I think to he was incinerated in, into science. metal for cars. That's He's my... He's in Fort Knox. You think Fort Knox? Guys, let's stop getting off track. We have to I'm listen to uh, former Vice President Joe Biden. That, <laughs> sorry, I got bored. You know, back in the 60s, we used to invest a little over 2% of our entire, entire GDP in pure research and investment in science. Today, it's 0.7%. I'm going to change that. We're going to change that. The future lies in who can, in fact, own the future as it relates to technology, quantum computing, a whole range of things, including in the medical fields. And so, what I'm going to do is make sure we that invest. Dog bark? Yeah, what was that? Closer to two percent. One of the reasons uh -oh. why the major just the major just attacked a the, small <laughs> child yeah. on a tour. Yeah, yeah it just came back. The new life. one's even yeah. worse. <laughs> is uh, we're going to invest in medical research, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, the things, Dementia? industries of the future, artificial intelligence, <laughs> quantum computing. We're going to be looking into all the things I have. <laughs> and we're going to make real investments. China is out investing us by a long shot because their plan is to own that future. It's because it's a communist third, government where nothing is, is your, is your own, you dipshit. If you want to go from two point whatever percent, like you were saying, go back up to it because we're only at 0.7%, where are you going to cut it?
Yeah. It's like this idea of balancing a budget doesn't occur to them. That only occurs to, sorry, the middle class Americans who yeah. built this country, who actually yeah. have to do some QuickBooks. I'm, I'm happy. I, well, they're just going to get rid of that, longer, though. But one of the things that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be speaking with uh, 27 Oh, yeah, hold on one second. By the way, Europe. like I said, it's stab proof. It's also hatchet proof. Ah. It's a real hatchet. Real deal. Okay, there you go. Yeah, ah, Use oh. your left hand nope. there. No. Nope. nope. Really? It's still there. It is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Dave, Dave are you still That's alive? enough. That's enough because I'm just worried about hand fatigue and a miss. Yeah. SpartanArmorSystems.com. Yeah, They're actually really NIJ is. certified. Use the promo code Crowder. You get 10% off. You sh Everyone should have them in their house, at least one. I feel like a Ninja Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the shell, you're like, See, oh, I really I'm do. Good. Like, it's comfy. I know it's mine. <laughs> It, it it you you can't even feel it. You're ready to fight. He was the hitting foot. me with an axe with his bad hand, huh? Said so you live in a sewer. I do live in a sewer. Talk to rats. Day old pizza. A rat trains me. <laughs> but it's for most part, their rat. label is NIJ certified. Yeah, by the yeah. way, the ones that are this one is. This one is. They offer some less. They offer some less expensive options yeah, for yeah, people yeah. who maybe just want to get into the market, but don't because listen, getting that certification is expensive, and it also guarantees you quality. All right, let's go back to uh, Mr. White Eye. Taiwan or a whole range of other things. And the third thing. Hey, I just heard him mention Taiwan. Are you talking about the the, 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 the place that uh, the World Health Organization really refuses to acknowledge even exists? Understand. Next question. He makes <laughs> no, pre no pretense about not understanding. Think about what a I'm Hunter's business trips. <laughs> I pointed out to him, no leader can be sustained in his position or her position unless they represent the values of the country. And I said, as, and uh, Mr. President, as I've told you before, Americans value the notion of freedom. America values human rights. We don't always live up to our expectations, but it's a value system. You had eight years, Joe. What'd you do? Principle. It's rhetoric. And it's just poor. What'd you do? And your country continues to so blatantly violate human rights. We are going to continue in an unrelenting way to call to the attention of the world. Who is violating human rights? Make is he talking China. China. He China. Is? Make it clear good. what's happening. But, but he's good friends and with them. He understood yeah. that. He understood me, clear that but I wouldn't do anything. No but you president. signed agreements that sent American I'm jobs there, day, no American reduced our ability to compete, and you said that we should trust the World Health Organization, who was doing China's bidding, by the way, and uh, we know what happened. And I, I can't say it on YouTube. I can't actually include the World Health Organization screenshots from what they were saying in January. <laughs> so, you know. As the last one did, is the moment we began to lose our legitimacy around the world. Did you say are. Momo to lose auto generacy? So, he might have. <laughs> Momo that I, to lose. Does that count as a drinking <laughs> moment? Yeah. China, China has Drink. an overall goal. And China has and a wall. Them for the it's goal. a great wall. Pretty big. Uh, goal uh, to become uh, the leading country understand. in the world, the wealthiest country in the world, and the most powerful country in the world. That's not going to happen on my watch, because the United States. My is watch. Did he just grow. say? What we, did he just say the United States is the wealthiest country in the world, the most powerful country in the world, and that's not going to happen on my watch? No, that China wants to be that. <laughs> His watch is a hey, pube left. beard. Sanctions yeah. or, or, uh, no, that's not where I make the decision. That's where I make hey, sure we're slob. all on the same page. He looks the like they page. shaved the Look, wildlings pubis from you, Games of Thrones and just glued it to his face in a jackass <laughs> stunt. doing their doctoral thesis on the issue of he also Who has succeeded? that good Bam Margera well, greasy I'm on opioids hair. Right. Because <laughs> that is what is at stake. Not just with Puts China. Biden stake. right at home. That's Look something I can't chew anymore. <laughs> We're in the midst of a fourth industrial revolution of enormous consequence. Will there be middle class? How will people adjust to these significant changes in science and technology, the environment? How will look, we do that? Look, look, look. And our democracy. You had your, well, I mean, I know you were, you were a patsy for the higher ups. Eight years, the middle class suffered. They paid more in taxes. They made less money. They saw skyrocketing health costs, okay? That was, and there were, for two of those years, you had control of every single chamber. Yep. All right? Let's make that clear. Then, in three years under Trump, until this manufactured reaction to the pandemic, they had record wage growth, record low unemployment, not only for middle class Americans, but for every demographic, race, and creed. You had eight years. You can compare it with three. That's what I'm looking forward to doing now, is comparing this uh, next three years is being generous, but let's go with that for right now because I don't want to be removed to the previous administration. Works. Uh, Mr. President, sorry, I know you have another chance to address uh, the tragedies in Georgia and 
Colorado, uh, you had said to stay tuned for actions that you might take on gun control. Here we go. Wondering if you've made a decision either about sending the manufacturer liability bill that you had promised on day one to Capitol Hill. By the way, that means that if someone gets shot, they can sue a mom and like uh, mom and pop gun shop. That's ridiculous. Yeah, just to be clear, giving money to cities and even if they didn't to, sell the gun, gun control. Even if they sold the gun, above. even if they legal, it's even if they legally time. sold a yeah. gun and someone happens to shoot somebody, so it's the Michael oh, Moore uh, sure. blame Kmart for Columbine yes. technique. Yeah. Successful presidents. As a matter of fact, me. Bernie even voted against that, and that's why he only got a D minus from the NRA as opposed to an F, like every Democrat. Now. Right. Order it. Decide and priorities what needs to be done. All right, let's listen to this. The next major initiative is. Here it comes. And I'll be announcing it Friday in Pittsburgh in detail. Is to rebuild the infrastructure, both physical and technological infrastructure of this country. Hmm? What is this? So that we can compete. Got oh, and create oh, great. You know what, you know what probably happened? He probably got some poll really results that said, hey, guns are the losingest issue the Democratic Party has. Stay you away know. from it. Joe's going to take me to Pittsburgh. And some I of think you he, have been around long enough to know. I think he just forgot that where he was. Did he miss not answering did a he gun mit, Did they not question. coordinate the questions that they're supposed to ask him with his <laughs> sheet there? I think the majority of the American people don't like the fact that we are now ranked, what, 85th in the world in infrastructure? I mean, this, look, uh, the future rests question. on yeah, whether or not we have... What's he talking about? The best airports that are going to accommodate. Is he trying to blame infrastructure problems on people going out and shooting bridges? I'm, I think he lost his place and pivoted to like, we're going to launch an infrastructure plan. If someone can let me know in the chat, those who are muck will to be talking with you afterwards. Yeah, maybe we missed what it. What just or happened? Something. Yeah. He said, What's Colorado and Atlanta, access to, access to you promised highway. a gun bill. Look, yeah. here's the thing with Donald, the things that people don't like about Donald Trump. All of the qualities that people disliked the were the opposite of this because he was a dog on a bone yeah. and he would repeat himself ad nauseum because he wanted to lay into the report. Like, yeah. no, excuse me, excuse me. Actually, we're not, we're not, we're not the top country in mass shootings. No, excuse me. Look, if you actually look at the countries, okay? We're not the top one, excuse me, because of all the countries, there are top countries that are not us, okay? No, excuse me. And I know you like to say that we're the top. I know that you love, you would love to say we're the top, right? Well, that's not true. We're not one of them. He would do it. He'd just keep going, yeah. He didn't yeah. lose his train of thought. He no. stayed on it, and these things went four hours. Biden can't last. No. One in five miles of our highways. Well, no, they just asked him about the. He's still, he's still talking about infrastructure. Yeah, they asked him about the slaughters in in, in Georgia, and he's like, "Oh, Pittsburgh's got a nice airport." Yeah. Well, I mean, at the very least, he could be like, "My thoughts and prayers are with the families and the victims." Like he could have started with that, but he pivoted immediately to, "Where am I?" Infrastructure. Uh, that'll we'll talk about that. You can't that. hold a train of thought for long enough to say a yeah. prayer. Still have lead pipes servicing the water lines. Our father, who art in... Damn it. We have over a hundred you know thousand the thing? well heads that are He looks like capped. he would be the conductor on a ghost Leaky train. <laughs> Just pull up. What are we doing? And by the way... I don't know we what we're doing. Put as many what am I doing? He'd be like... Uh, How old I don't know if it was a Canadian show, but he'd be like if after they rotated wells. George Carlin and Ringo Starr and Shining Time same Station, same they'd bring in Biden and the kids go, fuck. Charged. Yeah, they're like, ah, <laughs> oh, this guy... Because so, Ringo didn't smell I, I, I just find it... Um, <laughs> I want to hear the follow-up from this guy. Yeah. Like, what, Sorry, sir, yeah. what the hell was that? <laughs> Frustrated. You're talking about... Yeah, <laughs> sir. Sir, I Last was talking... Last point I'll make <laughs> <an> <laughs> <interesting>. <laughs> Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. <laughs> President, yes. Um, what in the actual fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you hear me say gun bill? <laughs> yeah. Or? Did you hear me say shootings, I, yes, sir? I understand that firearm sounds a lot like bridge. No, I understand that the infrastructure <laughs> of, of a bridge and airports are pretty good. Yes, you, you get it. You, to come back you get around. it, man. You see what I'm saying. But we can't There's planes. Go back to what they used but to be. This is this is we have to build sad. Yeah. The environments are look. Global war okay, look. People watching. There's only it. one of two answers here. Okay. There can and you guys tell me. People sometimes say, "Well, you have absolute." Yeah, look, I do have absolutist thinking sometimes when something like this happens. One of two reasons that that just happened: either a he completely lost his train of thought, he has no idea that the question was about firearms, or number two, 
He's going to go along with uh, pre-written talking points anyway because yeah. they had mutually agreed Regardless. upon that before the conference and the guy stepped out of turn. There is no door number three. Lost his train of thought or has softballs from the media. Period. Pick one. You tell me what you think is most likely. Could be retarded. From. How many schools where the kids can't drink the water out of the fountain? Oh, boy. I thought he said Who schools. I thought for sure he was going to shootings. Oh, I thought so too. Well, in the Flinch? chat, make sure you get us some good questions yeah, in the chat, guys. Keep going. Just Let Flinch? us know what you think he was going for Shooting here. Our kids too. Don't have adequate ventilation. How many homes? <laughs> what are they going to? They going to? They doing their Kumon learning complex. classes in Barney Frank's tit <laughs> basement? <laughs> I'm convinced we we missed we, the question. Yeah, or something. did something happen? Did did, did we miss a question? Did I? I don't know. Somebody let us know because uh, this doesn't sound like the answer. Someone let us know because, as I understand it, <laughs> pubic hair ginger beard yeah. asked about the recent shootings and yes. he started responding about infrastructure. Yes. Yeah. Do I have that incorrect? Because I would love. He asked about the manufacturer liability. Yeah, that he promised on day one. It's not day one anymore. That not that he would know that. But uh, well, the only time a kid couldn't drink yeah, the, out of a the chat saying you guys are you guys are right. The question was clearly about his intentions on a gun border, control bill. Like yeah. Wow. We run into a pair of siblings who came in on Monday. So nobody follows up. Show me your nipple the buttons. Phone number <laughs> for their mother who lives in the U.S. We have contacted the mother. That's the only way they know her kids are here because CBD today Thursday has not contacted that mother. So when can we expect your promise of things getting better with contacting and expediting? Well, they're already getting better, but they're going to get real. They're going to get a whole hell of a lot better real quick. Oh, well. We're going to hear some people leaving. Okay. Oh, I can't even. We can get On these this roads done. I just talked about. We're going to get it done. Where we, we go, we're not going to need roads. The entire <laughs> That's a gas. team and several cabinet level officers the other night. We're going to be sorry. moving within That's the right. next... Okay. Uh, Within the next week, over a hundred thousand, I mean, a, 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 a thousand oh, no. people out of oh, man. Uh, That's a Biden the gaffe. Border Patrol into safe, secure beds and, and facilities. We're going to significantly ramp up. We're already out there contacting everyone from getting some of the employees at HHS. There's a lot of them doing other things and move them into making those calls. We're in the, we're in the process of rearranging. If this is his last question, the personnel needed. This is very clearly a but recap. I the yeah. fact this is very clearly like you we're going to turn. This is we're going to do a callback call question where I get to wrap it's up real. everything that yeah. I've said. I've never happen, seen though, something more prepackaged due to a lack of trust in someone's basic cognitive functioning. Yeah. And I've worked with special and needs kids at churches. There's ways to do that. I, and I don't say that as an insult to them. You but it is an insult to them because I just use Biden. It's an yeah. insult to them comparing him to, them. to their yeah. cognitive abilities, honestly. They'd stun you with math. Harder data from DNA to, uh, to birth certificates, which takes longer. So I want to do this as, as quickly Boy, that B12 as humanly possible <laughs> and as safely as possible. <laughs> Needs a shot. You well, no, treating the root causes, causes in Latin America doesn't Look, he's change looking down. things overnight. Or is he dipping How do you realistically yeah. and physically keep these families from Where is he going? Where is he going? When oh, don't things do will that. not get better in it makes their it look worse. Oh, my God. Oh, he's lost it. I hope he slugs her. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking and there's no mic. You know, he just walks up and just, you see a hand go into her frame. You know as well as I do. Recovery. What are you, you doing? Serious. Looking for an like apple button. <laughs> I, I think I smelled finesse. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, in, in, in somewhere in... You smell oh, it's really wearing off. Or in, in Guadalupe saying, I got a great idea. Oh, Let's sell everything we have. Give it to a coyote. Oh, no. Have them take our kids across the border into a desert where they don't speak the language. Hmm? Won't that be fun? Let's go. That's not how it happens. People don't want to leave. That's exactly how it happens. When my great grandfather got and they do speak ship in Spanish. the Irish and they do want to leave. Right. <laughs> they do want to leave, even though you dislike that Donald Trump said mean things like these countries are shithole countries allegedly because they're not as good as the United States. Right. Uh, the fact is, these countries are inferior to the United States. What do I mean? In every way, shape, or form: safety, class mobility, Freedom. income. Uh, 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 I mean, t take your pick. Name anything. Name any metric for Freedom. a country. No. Yeah, say, say, exactly. Oh. The answer is no to all of them, so they want to leave and come to the United States. Okay. That doesn't mean that everyone has the right to the United States. You cannot say, hey, we need to do away with national Nationalism is bad. Not white nationalism. The idea of being proud in your nation, telling people that that is bad, and then say, hey, but no one wants to leave, but we need to let them in. Yeah. 
Why would we want to let him into a mediocre country? I got a lot of trunk space. I could probably make a few extra shillings these days as a coyote. Tens of kids in these god-awful facilities that are really little babies crying all night. There's some. That's true. That's why we got to act. And yesterday, I asked my team. Well, a lot of babies. By the way, this is right now. He said, "Hey guys, just at the end, let me riff a little bit." Yeah. Like no. Do some I'm, crowd I'm gonna work. walk around the microphone. If a baby's <laughs> yeah. crying all night, you just shake it. Yeah. Everyone knows that. Press the top of its head. <laughs> just give it a good old. <laughs> it's the button. It's the sleep button. Phone call can't be made in the first forty-eight hours. Sleep button. The top. The, the good thing is, with every infant that's crying, the top of their head, they have an easy button. Yeah. Much like me. Oh, hold on, I want to hear a question. Administration with not considering the immigration legislation that was passed in the House until the situation at the border has been resolved. No, because I know they have to posture for a while. They sort of got to get out of their system. <laughs> Speaking of um, posture, you should start a, working uh, on yours, Joe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> looking like a walking brawn. Bang, Mr. Burns. Ready like putting your ear into the microphone to hear better. <laughs> Who wants to help? <laughs> it's, Really something. Solve the problem or make make the situation better. But folks, I'm going. Thank you very, very much. What? Yes, That's fascinating. Hey, we really followed the uh, general rule of close with your uh, close with your oh. material. Yeah. No. That but was folks, like, that I got to like, poop. Did you see him just staring like at the distance? Cocoon, wasn't it? Just a vibrant old man. You your like wife climbed a lot of trees. Just She climbs one every once in a while. Yeah. Uh. All right. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see the fawning, by the way, before yeah. we go to the live fact check afterwards here at CNN. Look, I think by any objective metric, people would have to say that was not good. That was no, bad. That was one of the worst performances. I, it's it's so bad. I I this guy has his eyes shot Kennedy glasses. <laughs> it's keep, so keep bad on, though. Donald Trump did one every single day at the start of coronavirus. Yep. Well, this yeah. was and his... he would interrupt doctors. He'd be like, "Doctor Birch, get the hell out of the way. <laughs> this is my stage. This is how you answer." This is his like coming out and going like, "This is why I didn't answer questions before because I'm this serious." Yeah. yeah. Like, what a strong start. Yeah. It's like, dude, you're drifting. Ten minutes in, he doesn't know what yeah. he's doing. I really want to see what they say about the He's imprudent and slow. About, about He's like the tortoise and the hare. If, in addition to taking a nap, the hare also couldn't run. Uh, when he said Joey Bald Eagles, I knew he had it. They're trying to get some reform in place. I had them eating out of the palm of my liver spotted yeah, hands. <laughs> And filibuster, you need to I stand am shocked there and this talk guy doesn't have like at least mustard on his tie. This <laughs> <laughs> is the break. Your <laughs> wife, huh? Senate, but he, this was not somebody who was coming to say, Anything. "Let's go. We are going to break down the filibuster. I'm going to bash things up in the Senate because priority X, Y, and Z must get through." In fact. This was Joe Biden, the same Joe Biden we saw on the campaign trail, uh, the same Joe Biden we've seen governing for the last couple months. He calls himself, I'm a fairly practical guy, yeah. likes to get things done. I was hired to solve problems, not create division. And I thought what was most telling... And the last thing he said is Republicans have to, to posture by not thinking that we yeah. send in record number of illegal migrants. He reaffirmed uh, where his position was on those issues. But he said, and I thought this was so revealing, oh God. that... Presidencies succeed by timing your priorities and how you order things and how you sequence things. And he made clear his next thing is this Build Back Better infrastructure on plan. A this gun question. Proposal yeah. Yeah, on a gun question. Next this week. really That's is Chauncey <laughs> Gardner. <laughs> if the garden is healthy, the plant will grow. Oh, so what you're saying is uh, if we uh, till the soil, what, what was it? Uh, 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 what's the name of the guy who was uh, on Dirty Work, the dad in that? Oh, uh, oh, Jack Ward. Jack Ward. Jack Ward was the president, right? Yeah. It's, for those of you who haven't seen Being There with Peter Sellers, it's a special needs guy who's a gardener. Yeah. And he accidentally becomes president. He says, And they ask him, what are you going to do with the economy? He goes, well, if the garden is healthy, the plant will grow. And they're all interpreting what it yeah. is that he said. That's what they're doing yeah. right here. Whether or not House Democrats can get their legislation through the Senate, which is also very narrowly controlled by Democrats. Uh, so it's it, using the word filibuster sounds wonky and nerdy uh, and guilty as charged. But the issue is, does that mean climate change legislation gets through? Does that mean <laughs> gun control legislation gets That's through or 
not. And I just want to underline that because it actually means to help the American public. tangible things for people's lives. Making sure and that we increase the price of gas. He got and asked a gun question, though, and responded <laughs> with a talking point. <laughs> It's not okay. And you know where that comes from, right? That comes from that comes from being vice president. The last thing he can remember is being vice president under Barack yeah. Obama. Yeah. And when Barack Obama came in, he did his whole stimulus initiative of shovel-ready jobs, yeah, right? Yeah. Where it was all about infrastructure. That's why he's remembering. He's like, it worked for the uh, worked for the old uh, worked for the old uh, colored folk. Oh, It'll work for me. <laughs> now look right? at Bi Biden's, Biden's quotes. History. I can't yeah. be racist if I'm no. actually doing an impression of what would you rather me uh, in person? Uh, 7 Eleven. Uh, 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 you have to have an Indian accent, or uh, you know what? It's good to see finally an articulate black man. Take this. Hey, go ahead, cancel me. Where's the wide shot? Go ahead, cancel me. <laughs> you ain't black. Uh, thank you, thank you. Cancel me. Okay, let's listen to them here. Uh, Joe Biden also wants to do voting rights. He spoke passionately about that. He also spoke passionately about immigration and also if about guns. If you are up here towing the line that black people in the United States, who in poll after poll say course they can get voter ID. If you say it's racist to expect them to be able to procure identification, you are absolutely disgracing people in your community who she claims yeah. to represent who have repeatedly said, no, that's not true. Yeah. Yeah. That's not true. And, and there, there's study after study after study. We, we did this, a segment on this. It's been debunked. It was posted in the Washington Post. Every single study after that showed that it was no, no one in any community deemed it more difficult to get an ID than a middle class white person outside of exclusively Spanish speaking migrants. Yeah. And by the way, these studies didn't account for legal status. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that Ted Cruz pointed out about HR, uh, well, the, no, it's not HR1. Or, yeah, it is HR1. He said that if you are a, an illegal immigrant on government services, if you get a check, you're automatically registered to vote. So think about that. Automatically registered to vote, and now it's illegal to ask for an ID. Wow. So it's like, so hold on a second. They get our money and then automatically get to cancel out our vote? Yes. Ugh. It's like a multi-ethnic spit roast. Yeah. In Texas, that's 95,000 people. Nice. 95,000 wow. wow. people. Perfect. Hey, by the way, we're about to stab Dave Landau. Oh, good. What? We have an actual, oh, awesome. by the way, show. This is a real who? sword. Katana blade? Real sword called? katana it's blade. It's a real katana. Just make sure you aim it properly, even Brendan. Oh, good with his... Don't move, Dave. One arm. Yeah. Huh? 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 Oh, wow. A little harder. A little more. Come on. Juice. Give it some juice. Yeah, just, you know, like, really rare back. Get it in there. Hey, you know what? Can you step back and, ja like, joust him? Yeah, joust him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel any of that? That's pretty good. No, yeah, it's, it's totally good. Go, give him another one. The last one just goes all the way through. Like, oh, I heard right. that. <laughs> give it a little harder as long as it's accurate. It, Accuracy is... There you go. SpartanArmorSystems.com. Yeah. Promo code Crowder. You get 10% off. I wear them like my jammies. They're so comfy. I'm going like to start wearing them. For are they, uh, they going to bring out the fact check? Uh, do we have a fact check, Doc, or do we pretty much all do it in real time? Uh, they'll bring it out. Okay. All right. We'll have him bring it out. Let's watch uh, two. I felt like he wanted to do that. Yeah, he, he did. did. He really he did. Told, he actually some steam, he you know? volunteered. Yeah. Is it because I threw coffee on him? <laughs> well, it's, it's more so that you didn't blow on it first. Yeah. Well, why would you hand me hot coffee? <laughs> I didn't say that I wasn't complicit. <laughs> I, want, <laughs> I want my coffee Luke. ABC, I believe, asked the question about a young, unaccompanied minor standing at the border. Uh, President Biden gave a humane answer. Oh. And he said, no, he would not turn that un um, unaccompanied minor away. He Wait, said, no, no, yeah, he did. Didn't he say that he would? Yeah. He said he would send he it back he would to put the mother. In that so case, his he mother, who could be identified, because I remember we made yeah. the joke about a drug dealer sounding like a mom. Correct. He said he would be sent back. Can someone rewind that? Can someone loop that back? Can someone pull that clip? Because I'm pretty sure I remember him saying that he would send that person back. And now, maybe it's not one of the agreed upon answers in their talking points. And now CNN is saying, no, he gave a humane answer saying he wouldn't send him back. By the way, he did. It's the one thing I liked about his whole press conference. <laughs> maybe he didn't mean to say it. Well, if you look at the other newscaster who looks like every senator during the McCarthyism. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he has the facial expression that he's aware that guy is incorrect, yeah. yeah. But he's just not calling him on it. Yes, it's like Jake Tapper can smell farts, and he's not allowed to let on. Yeah. No. President Biden making it very clear that infrastructure, what he called a jobs bill, 
uh, was going to be his next priority. They he talked about how one in five American roads is in disrepair, 180,000 miles, how we rank something like thir- the U.S. ranks something like 13th in the, in the world when it comes to infrastructure, China spending three times as much. They're is still developing. Is there the willingness <laughs> and among just started. Republicans, By the way, Republican senators, everything else about China sucks. Yeah. Do you think the, the average citizen of China, you know, who doesn't live in some kind of a royal palace that's been, uh, that's been legacied in, do you think they'd take roads for the bicycles that they put 90 pounds of baggage on, or do you think yeah. they'd take a decent income? You know who or how about the ability to have a Bible in their nightstand without their house being burned with them in, the, with them in it alive like the church and patriot? I think they would opt for that rather than paved roads. And by the way, I'm pretty sure a lot of them are still dirt. Yeah. You know who cares mm-hmm. zero about how much money is being spent on roads in China? The Uyghurs that are being killed by the Chinese right now. They, I don't think they care. Right. Well, all yeah. That's all it's going to happen. It's a little bumpy. Please don't the give the them camps. any more sidewalks to curb <laughs> <Right>. us. <laughs> Jeez. I like the this. things that we Man choose to you. focus on, right? Yeah. Oh, this, we're, this infrastructure project, that sounds like a, a... And this was really telling. He said, if you prioritize, you can accomplish things as a president. I was just mesmerized. That's what that guy was saying, and he pivoted to this. So vapid. And nobody is saying... He was asked a question about guns. He said nothing to the victim's family that we heard, unless we like missed time, got abducted by aliens and dropped back. All right. Well, listen, before we before we give our wrap-up here, I don't know. If, if we're not going to get the fact check, give a token out, I need it within about one minute, or otherwise it's you. I think I can just go through here. But uh, let's just compare that. Just mind you, let's compare that press conference to what we saw from the previous administration, who, by the way, Donald Trump did him every day for months. And when he wasn't doing them every day, he was still doing them consistently. Let's compare what you just saw to the kind of press conference that you would see from Donald Trump and the media treatment therein. How do you see your role as a moral leader? Mr. President, just how do you see your role as a moral leader? There's so many people, I'm sorry. As a moral leader, though. I I think I am a great moral leader, and I love our country. Why are you pitting Americans against one another, sir? I'm not. Is that how you view citizens of this country? I'll tell you what, we won a lot of elections last night. We did very well last night. But in many ways, it's it's going to have. I think it's going to have a very positive impact. Michael Cohen recently said you called black voters stupid. That's false. Omarosa has accused you of using the N word, and the rapper, the rapper Little John, has said you called him Uncle Tom. What's your response? I I don't know who Little John is. I don't know. Oh, he was. Didn't he fight rapping out of love? Racist remarks? No, I would never do that, and I don't use racist remarks. Why did you wait so long? I didn't wait long. I didn't wait long. I didn't wait long. I wanted to make sure. Mr. President, after three and a half years, do you regret at all all the lying you've done to the American people? All the what? All the lying, all the dishonesties. That who has done? You have done. Uh, Tens of thousands. Go ahead, please. Please. (laughs) I am a young, vibrant man. I look at Joe. I don't know about him. I don't know. Too old. (laughs) <laughs> All right, <laughs> young vibrant man. Too old. Yeah, that that seems like the same kind of treatment. Hey, yeah. look, nipple button lady is back on CNN. By the way, maybe put the hair to cover up. I asked some questions and the answers were silly. Well, you're fired. <laughs> but I, but I uh, wore my hair like Princess Zelda. Well, what I like irrelevant. about the Trump conference is how it wasn't nine people sitting in chairs six feet apart, yeah. all right. wearing masks, asking questions and making that sure going to planned. Page four. Yeah. yeah. They're standing up like they're selling stock trades. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me do a quick live fact check here. So there are a few things that we've already talked about. We already talked about the migrant border surge. Yeah. We already talked about uh, gun control. But something that he said that the filibuster is a relic of the Jim Crow era. That's the claim that he made on Jack air. Jack Eagle. Uh, Obamacare was only passed because of budget reconciliation, which prevented Republicans from using the filibuster. Uh, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. And uh, Biden said, I think we have a clip here, right? Yeah. That Biden yeah. said, keep in mind, that he opposed abolishing the filibuster. And I know you're going to say, well, hold on a second. Are you bringing something up from his uh, disgraced presidential campaign in 1988 that he had to cancel due to serial lying and corruption? No, no, no. This comes from March. Do we have the clip? Yeah. Almost. That was a dunk, and you that guys was, didn't I mean, have the clip. Really, hey, like, look, when I say do you have the clip and you don't, don't say the yes. answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> Did Dukakis run in 88? Uh, I don't I'm trying. Who it was? I, I'm trying was to remember. It? I think uh, that sounds right. Yeah, it but sounds I right. Wrong. right. I don't know. Was that a Bush Dukakis? You know who didn't run in 1988 anymore? Joe Biden. Joe he Biden. did for a little bit. 
Joe Biden yeah. lost to Duke Hopkins. Scandals. <laughs> then Connie Chung just uh, spilled the beans and was like, Racial uh, jungles. That's I don't even know where to start. Ooh, don't yeah. even bring that up. There's Isn't this guy, Joe Biden. Isn't she married to Maury Is that Povich? Is that still Who? his still position? Uh, uh, Connie Chung? She's married to Mo Maury Povich? Wasn't she married to Maury Povich? Doesn't surprise no. me. Isn't that somebody. correct? Do we have the clip of him opposing the abolishing of the filibuster? Well, I'm going to seem real. That's we, a no. yeah, we, we have uh, his communications director talking about it. Okay, in, in March, this is right at the first claim here. He, he wants to work with Republicans, to work with independents. He believes that you know, we're stronger when we build a broad coalition of support. Um, and look, I would say, look at what we've been able to do in the first six weeks that we've been in office with the filibuster in place. We just passed a $1.9 trillion uh, rescue plan that's going to make a massive difference in with the no lives Republican of people all votes, across the though. country. You know, we've been able to, but we were able to get it done. Look, it's a 50-50 Senate. We understand that. We are going to have to navigate our way through a 50-50 Senate. That's the, that is the, the uh, you know, that's the but situation that we're facing. But with look, the rec but reconciliation we, we rules that only require 50 votes. I mean, that, that's how you're able to do this. Other, but we also, other bills, you won't be able to do that. True. Well, but we also got it done with the support of 75% of the American people, including over 50% of Republicans, uh, you know, American voters who uh, heard President Biden's, uh, heard him lay out his proposal, believed that he had the right approach, that this was the right plan. All right, unless uh, this clip actually yeah. involves Biden saying he opposes. So it says here, hey, someone in the room there, interns, if you guys want to keep uh, your 25 an hour, which is very, mu very much nicer than 15 an hour. 15, yeah. Yeah. It's the first clip. <laughs> Not clip H. It's the first one labeled clip, and I remember this clip. That's why I requested it. Uh, here's another one. They claim that. So just send it in there to the page where you know that Token Allen has access to it. It's right here. It says clip. Um, they claim that 31 percent uh, of migrants. There was a surge of 31 yeah. percent under Donald Trump. That's another thing. We kind of gave you some general statistics, but here's something that uh, is specific. Thank you to Choi Jr. That actually happened with unaccompanied minors under Joe Biden. Last week it was reported that as many as 4,200 unaccompanied, unaccompanied migrant children were being held in short-term holding facilities. That's a 31% increase. So even the number they oh, wow. used. Yeah. Um, so he was confl basically conflating it. <laughs> right. <laughs> like This is terrible. The 31 Oh, that's me. Well, that's actually a good job done, I think. Yeah, that's wonderful. And by the way, when he was talking about the, uh, he was talking about uh, <laughs> the uh, Middle East, yeah. Look, he bombed Syria right away. So we yeah. were coming back from Arizona when I was there with the uh, Mayo Clinic. And yes. we, had a, we had a driver who was 31 days Iraqi, in, yeah. as uh, former President Barack Obama would say, Iraqi. Yeah. Um, and he, at one point, I like I said, hey, sorry, can I, I need to pull my mask. It was My mask was below my nose. He goes, I don't care. You can take the mask off if you want. I don't believe in it. I said, well, you can take uh, your mask off. He goes, oh, it's bullshit. He goes, <laughs> the mask was only need. COVID is over, my friend. It's over because the election is over. You know, you know. I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, listen, I am from Iraq, okay? I served in the armed forces alongside the American military in Iraq, okay? And we, for four years, had peace in our country. And now that's over. That's it. That's yeah. over. I used to hate America. I used to think I hate America until I came here. Now I say, well, hold on a second. How many, how many of your, uh, how many of your relatives or friends who are Middle Eastern from Iraq do you think? He goes, before, before pre pre uh, Trump was president, 90% hated him. Now it's 80% agree with me because I am right. <laughs> they know that I am right because they had peace for four yeah. years and they said, okay, we've never had this. Yeah. I mean, from the party who is anti-war, who protested the Vietnam War like they had no other thing to do in life, they sure are willing to stay in wars and right. not willing to make a commitment. You know what Donald Trump did? He put out a goal, like a leader does, and says, figure out how to make this happen. Because right. on May 2nd, the bases will be empty. Don't give me any bull crap. Get it done. And it happens. Right. With Biden, I don't know how to do it. Oh, this is another one. I didn't know the actual it's number, true. but I'm glad that we got it. Uh, Biden said that uh, every day Americans built America and unions built them. Right. By the way, uh, that's not. I don't know if Washington and Jefferson. <laughs> I don't know if they were in the <laughs> yeah, Carpenters no, Union. Yeah. I'll have to oh, think back to you. Maybe John Adams because he liked his pipe. Hmm. Um, Biden masonry. killed at least 11,000. 11,000 union jobs alone. In the Keystone Pipeline, yeah, and yes, that's one but of the that gave us wow. higher gas prices. <laughs> <Yes>. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't you understand? Well, no, and he said he wouldn't do that in the campaign. So right, yeah, okay. And then he people, did. In, people in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania right now are really happy that he supports unions because they can't afford to even pay their dues anymore because they yeah. don't have jobs. They're, I'm it's sure they're fine. happy that he. And Dr. Levine killed their grandparents. Ah, yes, that's true. Uh, that. And like I said, yeah, they had middle income, uh, middle class income that helps. Average up five thousand under Donald Trump, only one thousand under Obama. Uh, this is one where they're saying, oh yeah, we have this clip i love it we're straight from the uh 
uh, uh, I'm trying to think. I, was just, I can't say horse because yeah, if you say that, don't say that. Race <laughs> something straight from the would be beautiful and brave migrants. Yes. Yeah. Mask. Mm-hmm. Uh, the immigrants. <laughs> Joe Biden said are coming because you know he's a nice guy. No, he didn't yeah. say it. The reporter said right. that's because that's how you were seen. What is a humanitarian? That, you were yeah. seen as a more as a decent man. Decent man, right? Buzzfeed boldly. She said that's why you were elected because you were seen as a decent, uh, a good man. And he said, yeah, yeah, um, and of man that whittles I on his front good. porch we- and accidentally stabs himself with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and then is uh, forgets to train his dog, so he attacks kids on a White House <laughs> yeah. tour. I told you, don't go, don't go in the West Wing. Cujo's oh. there. <laughs> well, you know, you, did you have to name him Cujo, Joe? That was yeah. kind of, it's foreshadowing. Uh, Steinbeck know. did it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, oh. he said that the, she said that they were coming because he's a decent man. I think we have the clip right here from an illegal immigrant themselves saying that, uh, of course, they knew that Trump wouldn't let them in, and this is why they're coming now. Would you have tried to do this when Donald Trump was president? I definitely not. Definitely. So did you come here because Joe Biden was elected president? Basically. Basically. Oh, he can't Basically. be expected to know what he's... He's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's Biden Joe. seems That's to Joe. have no understanding that his policies made it likely that people would be able to come here, get into this country, and not be forced to leave. Yeah. Donald Trump knew how to keep people out. You show up at the border, we're sending you back. If you're a criminal, you're getting put in jail. If you commit a crime and you're an illegal, we're sending you back right after right. you serve your sentence, baby, or you're going to a Mexican prison. It's almost as though if you stop punishing crime, hmm. more people will commit such crime. Yeah, hmm. exactly. Hmm. Really? That's too complicated for Joe. He can't. Well, take we'll, that we'll draw far in the back of a children's menu. Well, I don't buy it. And by the way, uh, his own porters are Roberta Jacobson uh, admitted that the policies were driving smugglers and criminals uh, to cross the border. Yeah. It's a coincidence that as soon as Trump and his immigration policy were on the way out and Biden and his stated policy were on the way in, this historic surge at the border started? Well, first of all, one of the things I think is important is we've seen surges before. Surges uh-huh. tend to respond to hope. Is Snuffleupagus going to come up? a significant hope What's for the a of the more day? humane policy. Yes. After four years of you know pent up demand, so I don't know whether I would call that a coincidence, but I certainly think that the idea that a more humane policy would be in place may have driven people to make that decision. But perhaps more importantly, <laughs> it definitely drove smugglers to. Why is she smiling? I know that's not a good thing. Express Does she know disinformation what she's saying? to spread disinformation. <laughs> about what was now possible. And we know that. If, if the change in administration has brought hope, then from your perspective, She's is a sociopath. this good? I, I don't think that's what I just said. I think yeah, it's I a think reflection of how migrants feel at a particular time. Well, why do you think they feel that? It's going to send more smugglers. <laughs> and so, ladies of El Paso, yeah. I hope you like uninvited penetration. Yeah. Can you imagine working in communications in the White House trying to, like, push over the security to get in the room and take her off the mic? <laughs> <laughs> take oh, the mic away. <laughs> <laughs> Secret Service agents are oh, flying. Turkey up, neck is right? talking yeah. again. No, <laughs> they're pulling her off, her like, off the mic. Oh okay. god, she's laughing about it too. Oh no, she's laughing she's... about smugglers. Does she think that's an important voting demo? She's just excited because there's a chance she's going to be touched again after ten years. <laughs> oh. Even Joe Biden stopped grabbing my buttons. Yeah. It's oh. why I wore this yellow jacket. All right. That's a really poor placement of buttons, by the way. The first two colors to draw attention are black and yellow. That's why I dressed like a school bus. Look at me. I look like I'm the flock of seagulls. Now. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys tour. remember Banana Rama? Oh. Is this song? Don't okay. Uh, by the way, all he mentioned the COVID. Let me just hit this briefly. All the COVID success. It all comes from Donald Trump. Yeah. Just to be clear, was it one point three million uh, of vaccines were delivered in January? He was doing a yeah. million a day. America's already on track for a hundred million in a hundred days. Biden said he could do two hundred million in a hundred days. Um, well, again, the, well, thanks to Donald Trump, he's 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 halfway there. Uh, he hasn't increased it uh, dramatically at all. I also love that you know the only answer he had on the border crisis was. Well, Kamala's going to do it. Yeah. You know, Kamala's going to do it. So, listen, if she's in charge, let's hear what she has to say. Yeah. Do you have plans to visit the border? 
Uh, um, not today. <laughs> but um, I have before, and I'm sure I will again. Yeah. <laughs> it's so crazy. She's haunting. And by the way, thanks for letting us know. Yeah, it does turn out we weren't wrong. We thought, here, Joe Biden is, the one thing that he does really well, and then I want to go to what, you know, your, your recap. He's so crazy, he makes you think you're crazy. Yeah. Because we're all sitting here going, wait. True. They asked a gun question, yeah, there's right? there's no way. But then you're going, there's no way that the sitting president of the United States would answer a gun question with a bridge answer? Bridge answer. <laughs> <A> bridge answer. <laughs> With right? bridges. We must have missed something yeah. because we locked Donald off and we were having many. So there must be something that we missed. So that's a skill. <laughs> Joe Biden is so insane uh, that he makes all of us question our own train true, of thought. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe he really is playing 12D chess. I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really don't no. think so. It's four square. <laughs> Uh, okay, before well, what are your thoughts, uh, <laughs> Gerald, on, on how this went? Uh, so I'm not surprised by Joe Biden, obviously, right? We all thought that he was going to have a difficult time doing an actual press conference. I'm also not surprised by the questions because we thought it was going to be softballs. I am shocked that nobody else called him on the gun question thing. I am, I mean, just absolutely shocked. And also, the other thing that the press was just screaming about was like the press has to be freed, right? You're, you're suppressing the press under President Trump. Yeah. They said, when can we go into these facilities? And he's like, well, whenever we could make it look better. Yeah. That was, I swear to you, I'm not quoting verbatim, but he's like, no. well, after a few days when we get people out of there and things will be better, and when, oh, so when can we go in? And well, I, I'm not feces. sure yet. It's like, we got we to yeah. bleach the sheets and get some Charmin in there. Yeah. yeah. When Don't I can bring make a this, black light. Yeah. When I, make, when I can make this situation not look bad for me, then I'll let the press yeah. in. Right. That's what yeah. Joe Biden. Which, so, by the way, parallels this very press conference. Yeah. It's when I think. I have enough to sort of, t I'll finally do a press conference right. in a very measured, controlled way where I give you the questions that you can ask me, right? And he still couldn't find a spot. Right. Well, and, and the other, the last thing that I was surprised about was that, and I told you this was probably what he was going to come out with, some strong policy thing to kind of take the trajectory of it in that direction. He came out with 200 million vaccines. <laughs> like, you're building, it's like, oh, we're going to do 100 million. You get in there like, what, we've already done 87 because of Donald Trump? Well, it's just crap. Uh, what, what? 200 million like uh, that's yeah. not a strong policy initiative no come out with something better and that's it, what you came with if you left him in a room with all the uh, ingredients for a vaccine <laughs> he wouldn't come out with a vaccine <laughs> no. all it would There's say is peel back tape would... to have vaccine if you yeah. left him in a room yeah. with the vaccine and an empty syringe with yeah. instructions on how to fill it he'd come out missing an eye yeah, yeah. <laughs> or he'd just have a air bubble headed for his heart <laughs> Just come out with his hematoma. I don't know. Yeah, what to what's do. that? You press it, <laughs> and he faints. I he didn't make anything. He I took the, <laughs> the only thing he's made is a bowel movement. That's the only thing that, which is difficult. For and he him. comes out yeah. and he has to blow out candles. I oh. used the needle to draw blood, and I drew up a plan for infrastructure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's in my own blood. Yes, <laughs> what about the roads? The roads. There's uh, guys, guns and bridges. Oh, and, oh, man, so, hey, whoa, come on. I'm not kidding around. Sometimes the criminals, they put their guns under the bridges. Yeah. And, and we don't know because we're not spending money on those bridges. How are we going to find the guns? Hunter, Hunter took my I'm car out. and uh, drove under the bridge, and somebody sold him something. Great song with the, the peppers, the chili guys. Yeah. You, know? you like under them? the bridge. Give yeah. it away, give it away now. Now we it? give all of it they away. They put their penises in socks. Yeah. I, Who does? Yeah. That's not. That's, that's not, not decent. Come on, man. a sock Come is on. sock isn't an eight year old. No. <laughs> sock, <laughs> sock is something you put your foot in. Uh, I mean it. Not your penis. Well, come on. You put man. your foot in it. Even a penis sock, which I make. Yeah. In even, China. Even a penis sock. Joe Biden's penis sock. <laughs> Build back better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I, uh, uh, do you think I'd endorse it if I didn't believe in it? Come on. <laughs> come, on. Come, on. <laughs> come on. I got real soft balls. Not just questions, but in real life. <laughs> and if I put this penis guard on it, Joe Biden's penis sock guard, I'm not going to hurt my soft balls. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's your uh, what's your take? What's your takeaway from? Uh, and by the way, the promo code is dementia. We're not insinuating anything. No, you no, get twenty dollars off Mug Club. It's the only reason we're allowed to do this. And by the way, we are going to go and take your chat on 
mugclub, ladderscutter.com slash mugclub. Uh, that's where, you know, because we don't do the YouTube chat. And this doesn't run on Facebook anymore because they always no. remove it. But uh, before we go, what what was your over, your macro impression of this? Oh, man. I thought he was coherent, fluid. I thought everything <laughs> made sense. Um, what I really think... Um, for years and years and years, we've dealt with politics and letting people run us instead of us controlling them the way that we should. Uh, Trump, who I had my own issues with, was a monkey wrench into the system where at least you got somebody doing something and right. giving something back to the press. This is what we voted for, uh, to put in the same business-as-usual bullshit. We were so worried about demonizing the last guy that we didn't even pay attention to what we were sneaking in. You have him and you have Kamala, who's somebody where you didn't even read the ingredients. You just looked at the label. All we've done is label us and destroy this country. This is dog shit, and we should be ashamed <laughs> yes. that it's in office. That's what I truly and honestly why you, think. Why are you going to bring Major into this? I didn't mean huh? to. I didn't mean hey. to. Come on. I'm just he's mad. Like talk about Kamala he's in like Delaware. that. He's like, back in Chevy Chase, Maryland. Come on. Speaking of Chevy Chase, did you see me do the fall? Yeah. Trying to get into an airplane? Look, I fell up. Yeah, get fine. It? The poop on the floor turn, was mine. Turns out that for it to be considered a sketch, it can't be real. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> You're a lying dog face pony soldier. <laughs> you are. I was, uh, no, uh, I think that's... I was going up the stairs in my electric chair, <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's stalled out, and I, I tumbled down. I thought I would get up fast, like the old lady in Gremlins, <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> Only I wouldn't go out the sunroof. <laughs> there was piss everywhere. <laughs> My knees were bleeding. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. The first time I fell, okay, that was an accident. But time number three, you can't blame it. That was my piss. It gets slippery. Piss on carpet. <laughs> Look, uh, like, I, I will say this. that I think I that's grab, actually a great point. I grabbed but, the spot shot. <laughs> that's a great point that, that I honestly Dave made. believe that. And I would take it I one step further, say. and I would say before we go here to Mug Club, I think it's really when he's talking about. Look, look at the policies that he's talking about. When he says, "Look, it's time for uh, for uh, us to come together," and what he means is uh, for everyone to get on board with the Democrats, and he's talking about it's time to get this business done. Look, or to keep us completely divided. That's right. what he means by come together. Right. That's what he means. He really means is come along to get along. Otherwise we're just going to run roughshod over you. Now, who does he plan, over whom does he plan to run roughshod? Well, let's be clear. Letting in tens of thousands of migrants, record numbers, right, at the border, taking guns away, even though he didn't actually have the mental acuity to go over that. We know what he supports as far as policy. Increasing taxes. All, right, all of these issues that he's talking about, uh, for when he talked about COVID, no solutions to really actually ending lockdown. So when he says, hey, we need to come together, what he means is him his Democratic buddies in the House, in the Senate, and of course the media who offer up softball questions. And I can't confirm or deny that they seemed agreed upon ahead of time, but the fact that he kept looking down and seemed to answer them in sequence and then was given a nice little wrap-up question makes me think that it had happened. So now we have all and branches of we have all sorry. branches of government. We have the mainstream media. We of course have Hollywood, and we have big tech trying to do their bidding. Right? These people all are coming together to make sure that the flow of information supports the policies of disarming you while letting a record number of migrants come into this country, with with which with, with which we have no system to verify, right, wherever they are, whenever they are, and then reducing the voting age to 16 and not requiring any kind of identification. So when they talk about who needs to come together, they are talking about, just as Dave Landau said, business as usual, the elites, so that they can enact policies against you. It really is. That's the one thing that I would say Donald Trump did really pretty well. And I was more of a libertarian conservative uh, for a long time, and I still am, really. That's how I would be labeled. But I do think my eyes were open, certainly, to the more... Uh, pervasive problem of just how bad it is for career politicians to constantly have carte blanche to write checks yeah. with your money mm -hmm. because they have no concern for your well-being. They have concern solely with votes. This is this is why we need term limits because now they're running it for job security yeah. and not to actually serve their population. Just compare Joe Biden. Let me leave you with this comparison, okay? Everything that I hate about Joe Biden can be summed up in a comparison to George Washington. And I don't think that we've had another president more comparable to George Washington in modern times than Donald Trump, and here's what I mean. Joe Biden, for 48 years, suckled at the taxpayer teat. He's never held a job in private office for 48 years. George Washington was the first president and so beloved that he could have stayed president likely for decades. He had the power of the world's greatest nation. Keep in mind, a world uh, a country, sorry, that had left the world's superpower, the world's greatest superpower, only a decade, only a few years prior, 
to become the world's greatest super, uh, superpower only a couple decades after. And he was given the keys to that kingdom, and they said, by the way, no one's going to give you the boot. Please, please stay. And he walked away. Is there any more clear of a contrast than a man who walked away from that power versus a man who has been clamoring for it and claiming credit for it for 48 years? Which man do you think is most likely to serve you? That's, that was my takeaway from this press conference. All right, we're going to go to Mug Club and take your chat. Lottowithcredit.com slash Mug Club. And uh, the promo code is Dementia. Not insinuating anything. You get $20 no. off. Uh, we will see you, of course, next Monday. Uh, and right now, YouTube, thank you. Not really. Piss off.